Remind me, I gotta get that shirt out the car. Hello. So y'all, I'm going to be finishing these um, Nike slides here. I was working on them the other day. I'm going to finish this one tonight. Uh, this is um, the Kawa, Nike Kawa style, which is the ones I'll tell y'all that I'll be having a hard time finding because they've been sold out, but it's going to look like this. So this is AB Crystal. This majority of the shoe is AB Crystal, and then I have um just clear there so this is what it's going to look like and you see like little gaps these are normal size gaps as opposed to i'll show y'all if y'all stay tuned later on in the live um what a big size gap is that's not normal so this one here as you can see i put like some small ones in right there that was not a normal size gap these here are normal size gaps so um like anywhere you see i have fillers are where they were not normal size gaps so that's why it's important because i'm these are majority ss20s but that's why i buy filler stones as well and you can um purchase the, the stones that i use i have some of them on my amazon storefront if you go to my um tiktok main page the home page if you go there click on my um link uh i have the links where um you can purchase the stones right from amazon i do not sell the stones or anything like that but i do have a lot of stuff up there where i shop from amazon like the rhinestones these trays that you see me using here these are they have the ridges so once i shake them like that they turn a lot of the stones over they're also stackable they come with 12. i get a lot of questions all the time so i'm trying to cover some of that early on but I know I'm going to have to answer questions again because people are coming in at different times. But these have bridges in it. They are available um, on my TikTok homepage. You'll see an Amazon link where you can shop some of the stuff that I buy for my, um, my business. As far as the rhinestones, um, I don't have all my rhinestones up there because I use vendors too. But when I'm like trying to get stuff quick, I, I do a lot of shopping on Amazon for my business. So... I have like the trays up here, some of the rhinestones, um, the wax pencils that look like this. These are up there, the ones like this. You get like 10 in a pack. Uh, just different stuff, so go up there and uh, check it out. But I do sell these wax pens on my website, symphonystreasures.com. And it's called the Dual Ended Rhinestone Pickup Tool. That's what I call it. So, you know, I sell these on my actual website, symphonystreasures.com. But you can get the other wax pencils that I just showed you right from Amazon. So I'm about to get started. I normally do the Nike sign first. And then I go around the border and do that. And then fill it in. I, I always say that the, um, the border is the foundation. Just like when you build in a house, if you don't do that foundation properly then the house is not going to be sturdy so that's very important i start here first make sure it's all lined up and then i fill in the inner part so you'll see if you stay tuned tonight you'll see how my method is and my method is not the only way it's not the only right way this is what works for me so if you have a better way of doing it then follow your own lead this is just what i do i'm a bling artist from new jersey i'm proud of what i do i've been doing it a little bit over three years 
and um this is just how i do it you know everyone has a different way of doing it it's a lot of other bling artists out here that may do it the same way or may feel like you know she doing it you know i don't do mine like that whatever i use different glues for different projects i'm just giving a little overall you know uh basis to you know how i do things but um there's no one specific glue that you use is it really depends on the um the, the item that you're you're blinging so that's very important i get asked a lot of questions about that too i use liquid fusion is my go-to glue i use um gorilla glue i use e6000 you know those two glues are very toxic you need to be in a well ventilated area have a fan on some people even wear a mask or you need an open window something but that's a toxic glue e6000 and gorilla glue but they work wonders um the hold is immaculate i love it but i'm trying to branch off from using those glues because i have a family and i'm worried about my health as well um but if you're using it properly you know i don't see the harm in you using that glue but um hey peter gay hey jackie hey christopher hey y'all so um I'm going to get started. I use super uh, super tight fusion tack as well. Um, I have the crystal um, secret samurai glue. Uh, what else? I, I, I even bought the Bob's, um, that Bob's epoxy glue. I haven't used that yet, but I did purchase that. I have a fabric glue. I, I'm like a person that I try a lot of... Um, glues and rhinestone tools and stuff like that i'm real big on that but tonight i will be using my e6000 i mean my gorilla glue it works just like e6000 this to me is a little bit stronger though um but yeah i use this it's good for metals glass fabric wood ceramic leather paper plastic and more it's a little stronger and to me um it's a little bit thicker 100 percent waterproof permanent bond again you have to be careful using this glue though um it's very thick this one is a little bit thicker than um e6000 you know how e6000 kind of spew spills out the the tube if you don't hurry up this one does it too but it's a little slower because it's a lot thicker make sure you get the crystal clear do not get that black one so that's very important for you to uh be aware of i always keep me like uh a paper towel by because i like to keep my tool wiped off and stuff like that as well so i'm about to get started i have my clear um rhinestones here that i'm going to start with <laughs> thank you christopher they be covered so as you can hear my fan on in the background because it was hot today uh and now it's a little cooler outside so i don't need to turn on the air conditioner but so I'm gonna start with this right now. I need my little, uh, my little eyeglasses that I like to wear. That my daughter makes fun of me when I, my little these glasses. I have these too. They are on my um. It has a light on them. See the light? Magnify glass. It comes with different um magnifiers, and this works wonders. So. She makes fun of me. She said I look like. What do you say I look like when I wear this? I don't know. I don't. I don't care what she be saying. I look like y'all, cause I need my eyes. I need to be seeing what I'm doing. And my mother. Everybody make fun of me when I'm. They be like, you look like a scientist or a mad scientist. Or well, I'm like, oh okay. I find it, it's just funny. But yeah, I got this from Amazon. I actually purchased two. Cause one you can you know you can have the ones that has the um arms like that and then the other one i mean well it comes with both but then this one you can put the headband around i don't like the headband so i never switched it back but it comes with that so that's something if you are a bling artist or you do some type of craft that um you know has you working with small items and stuff like that or you just have a little trouble seeing then you need to invest in that. Anybody asking questions? Thank you. 
if anyone is new here uh, please follow me here as well as on my Instagram page I post um, all of the items that I create and you can you know check me out and see what I've done you know prior to uh, you know um, me really being on TikTok um, Instagram is like my portfolio for like my work and stuff so I'd like people to like look at that because there may be something up there that you want me to do for you that I no longer make that you know or haven't you know posted that I'll, that I'll be still open to, to doing so this is basically you know how I do it like I said I'm not saying this is the only right way this is my way everybody has their own way you need to do it different but you gotta do what works for you try out different glues see which glue you like but there's no one glue that you will be using for everything it depends on the project so i need people to remember that because um somebody was up here a couple of weeks ago and they was like i thought you use e6000 for everything i'm like no i never said that I said I normally use E6000 for my footwear, but it has always been either E6000 or Gorilla Glue. But, you know, once I find another method and a safer method that's non-toxic, then, you know, I branch off to that because it's important. Because over time, like, I really stopped smelling the E6000 glue. I guess because, you know, I've been using it for so long, I just... And I have a very keen sense of smell, so I just kind of stopped smelling it. So I don't know if that was good or bad. That's why it didn't really bother me. But I always took, you know, the safety precautions and stuff, like with my window open or fan on or whatever. But I just stopped really smelling it. I guess I got used to it or whatever. But I can smell uh, the Gorilla Glue a little bit more than the E6000. I think it's uh, stronger. Do y'all hear my daughter back here eating on this? She is a snack bandit. Oh my goodness. She no, it's not bothering me. It's just funny because you trying to eat it quietly, but I can still hear. <laughs> uh let me see what y'all saying. Yes, I have it too. What you have, Peter Gat? I'm coming back home soon. I live in New Jersey. Not in not in New Jersey. Oh, okay. You from Jersey? Hey Lenny. Did y'all check out my my latest posts? I I think I put up um three of my latest posts. Yeah, I did one last night. I went skating. Your girl old. You know I ain't been skating since I was like a teenager. And I'm always I've always been like scared to fall as I've gotten older. Cause you know when you get older, your bones don't heal as quick as you would if you was. 16 or whatever you know younger so your girl is not anywhere near 16 so and then i got these nails on then if i fall and oh so i was i was nervous but it is so much fun so i really want to learn you know my fiance knows how to skate very well but i ain't him so i'm worried about my uh me falling I didn't fall yesterday, and since the weather is nice now, I could be practicing more outside and stuff, and the rinks and stuff opening back up. So, mm -mm. but I don't want to be. This well, ain't nice. this is hot. Yeah, this is what? nice. I love the summertime. That's a, I'm a summer baby. I love summer. But you know, you go when when the um, sun is down, or you know, earlier when it's um, not as hot. So. So yeah, I posted uh, that video and see I'm spacing it out a little bit. So it's like, you know, I do have some other stones here that I can fill in. I posted one about pride. 
when I was at the store. I actually have another one to post because uh, I posted the one when I was in uh, TJ Maxx. I saw some tumblers and stuff uh, when I was in there. And then um, I went to Michael's earlier with my daughter and we saw a whole lot of um, pride stuff. You know, they have that section where it's like holidays and stuff like that, special occasions and all of that. So they had um, the pride section. That's what I did for like Black History Month and people was dragging me in the comments like, oh, it, aren't you doing segregation just like y'all don't want us? I said, listen, this is my page. Get up off of here. I'm going to always promote black because I'm black. Just because you pro-black don't mean you're anti-white or any other race. I'm proud to be black despite all of the stuff we go through. So I'm, they like, oh, that's just Michael's trying to get money. And I don't care. I really don't care. You spend your money where you want to spend your money. And the last time I checked, this was my page. So, I mean, I'm not a lesbian, but I'm not against pride. So, is it wrong for me to post stuff about pride, too? Despite, you know, what other people feel, you know? It's just too much hate going on where I'm going to be a part of that. So, you know, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to post on my page what I want to post. And if you don't like it, just keep scrolling. That's all. It is easy to do, y'all. Easy to do. We are so judgmental. And don't even realize at the end of the day, it don't matter what we think people still going to do and feel and be what they feel they are, what they want to be, what they are, you know. So I don't really care what the negative stuff. I don't really care about that. Because when I do clap back, then y'all going to be like, oh, my gosh, yeah, then mind your business and get up off my page. Because I don't like people to really see the Christina come out because. I'm I'm North New Jersey born and raised. I, I could I could get hood, but I try not to let no one see that side of me because it's like it's not necessary. But don't push me, okay? Okay. I like to be nice and bubbly, like you know I normally am. And now like people taking me out of my or allowing people to take me out of my character. But sometimes people do that, you know, and you gotta let them know. Don't bring it over here. And that's it. But yeah, so not against none of that. So But anyway, let me catch up with the comments cuz I know y'all y'all know I'm just rambling. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I saw you skating. Yeah, girl. I was nervous in the mug. I cannot skate. And I was practicing last year during the pandemic. Everybody loved my skates. Like, where can I get them from? Where you get them from? Those skates are Impala from Impala. The website, but they um have been out of stock. Um, I got mine sometime last year. <clears throat> if you join the mailing list, like if you want a specific um pair and they're sold out, they'll um email you when they come back in stock. But I'm telling y'all, gotta jump on that because everybody is looking for skates. I want to bling a pair of skates, but I'm not blinging mine because I like exactly how they look. It's the iridescent look. If y'all didn't see it, go check out. I think it's my third to last post me skating with my little self almost fell a couple times but i didn't fall but i didn't put that part in the video of course but um yeah oh the eyewear yeah that doesn't it is great to have right peter i'm in trim that now be back in jersey soon so i have to get one of those nike slippers oh okay oh how is trinidad i want to go I be wanting to travel places, y'all, that try their different foods and stuff like that. I'm, I'm petite, but I love to eat. My family, they call me greedy all the time, and I want. That's where my daughter got it from, cause she's greedy as hell too. Um, thank you, Bonnie, for the roses. Hey, brown sugar. People just need to love, and that's it. Absolutely. Or, or have your opinion, you know, and that's fine. But have your opinion and keep it to yourself. That's it. You don't gotta like broadcast everything. I'll I be ready, y'all. I'll be ready. Too much hate going on already for people to be hating. They hate you because the color of your skin. They hate you because your sexual orientation. They hate you because you got a business and it's going well. They hate you because you got 50,000 plus on TikTok. I'm talking about myself. 
Th thanks to y'all, I got over 50,000. I started back in March 2020 because of my daughter getting on my nerves, telling, come on, mommy, let's do this TikTok dance. I'm like, girl, I don't dance like that. I don't. So she was like, you know, start your own page or whatever. So that's what I did. And thanks to her, I got all these people. Hey, Shay Shay. See, wait, it's so nice. I bet you it is. I hope you're taking a lot of pictures. I get married to my boyfriend in New York City and I love him. That's right. Look, love is the answer. It don't matter if it's male, male, female, female, none of that. It is what it is. You're welcome, beautiful. I learned a lot from you. And yes, let's the part the way they want to live. So let people talk love. Amen. All right, y'all. Let me stop running my mouth so much because I'll never get this shoe done. Y'all know once I get the babbling, it's a reset. So. All right, so let me finish this part here. And sometimes, you know, if stones come off, I always send, you know, extra people who are different taking care of their shoes. Or, you know, it may, you may bend the wrong way. You may bend down the wrong way and some stone may come off or whatever because it's still a handmade item. I do send extra stones just in case. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen sometimes. So I, I like to just, you know, prepare for that. I send like the little small glues like this. Wait, where is it? Like the little small E6000 or Gorilla Glue like this. And I send like a little thing or a little baggie of um the rhinestones. Just in case, just like, you know, you go to Macy's or somewhere and they, um, you buy like a sweater or something and, it, and they give you like little extra buttons. When it's like a specific uh button they give you like a little extra button just in case that's it's just best practice if you ask me no big deal you know not to say yeah my shoe gonna fall apart so i'm sending extra stone no it ain't nothing like that and if it do like as long as it's not all of them one or two you know you gotta be realistic stuff happens people walk different but the shoe, no, it shouldn't fall apart or anything like that. So I just want to put that out there. But um, I do try to be as um, transparent as I can be. Also, you can um, store your shoe in the little bag that I normally, uh, you know, I, I put my logo on it and stuff like that. So you can store your shoe in there when you're not wearing it those bags are also used like for when people travel and you know they don't want their um shoes touching their clothes and you know making your clothes all dirty or whatever because you don't walk on the ground and stuff outside with it so you know you can use that use the bag reuse it it's like a drawstring type of bag so those are also on um my uh amazon storefront and people come to my page too because I do share information and I don't mind sharing information, but I'm not going to run your business for you. I'm not getting no cut or anything like that, but I do feel like I can share because no one helped me with anything. I had to find out stuff on my own, research, research, research. I don't give out my vendors or anything like that, but I will share links and stuff that I get certain items from like the stones and everything like that when it's like off of Amazon because I just like to pay it forward and you know that's not me helping the next person or giving a little bit of detail or you know information on where I get certain things from is not going to hurt my business I feel like it's room out here for everybody to get their bag or whatever it's room out here for everyone but I'm not going to run you know some people come on here just to get information if if and I see a lot of y'all you know come up in my lives and y'all are regulars and i appreciate y'all like and a lot of y'all are like friends and you know to me now and stuff like that so if y'all come and y'all ask me certain things i don't mind at all but it's the people that just come on just to get the information they leave they don't follow they don't like anything i don't respect that so you know it's no harm in you helping and getting information or giving information to other people but you got to be guarded as well you could tell the people that's here for you 
that truly you know enjoy your artistry as well as um the ones that's just here to get information and leave because you do have those people out there so don't don't be uh naive but it's room out here just like with so many different types of bread in the bread aisle there's one type of bread somebody's gonna buy that everyone else looks over looks past so just keep that in mind if you feel like oh i want to start bling or i want to do candles or christopher you know what i'm talking about if you're still in here you aren't the only person making candles i'm not the only person doing bling it's a lot of competition out here but what is going to stand and set you apart from the rest that's what's important so don't don't ever feel like you know something that you do is going to make you stand out from the rest that people are going to buy and support from you you know what i'm saying so just always remember that i'm trying to see how did i do that one one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven okay i'm gonna take one off and just put it like this because I like it to kind of look the same as the other one. So I'll take that. Take that one off. So I'm finished with that one. Uh, it looks so nice, love. Thank you, sweet boy. And I'm looking forward to opening my own clothing line. Oh, well, best, best of luck with that. Yeah, do it. Thank you, Pete, again. I'm looking forward to opening my own clothing line. I'm doing junk clothes and male, male and female. Oh, you know, that's... That is definitely something that you know you make money doing because a lot of people are into um athletics and um fitness and stuff like that even even me like i don't really exercise that much the way i should but i do like to wear yoga pants and workout gear even when i'm not working out and don't judge me judge your mother so <laughs> i don't care it's comfortable i like it and it's cute thank you bonnie for the tiktok what's the tiktok what's what's that you sending me thank you i'm still kind of new to learning all of this stuff yeah kind of you know what the tiktok is jay no how am i supposed to know what that is i can't go live oh you can't go live oh you don't have a thousand followers my daughter don't have a thousand followers y'all she can't go live um, i don't even post so <laughs> You should you should be like that with your mother now. Come on. <laughs> but um, all right. So on this part here is where I'm not in the frame, y'all. Y'all got to be telling me that I'm not in the frame. Well, I'm not in the frame enough. I'm trying to see, like, make sure y'all can see. All right. So where do y'all think I'ma start? Do y'all think I'm going to start around here, the Nike sign, check, or the border? I want to see if y'all been listening to me. So I'm not going to start until somebody in the comments answer. Peter, I, I did the check already. So I'm, saying, I'm asking them if I'm going to do around the check or am I going to do the border first? Hey, Jackie, you got it. You listening, Jackie. Okay. I think you have to start from the border because you build the border. That's right, sweet. What, Bonnie? Y'all listening to me. I feel so special. Y'all making me feel like a teacher now. <laughs> Peter, um, I looked on the site and I didn't order any more, but I just got some more orders. So I will be ordering um, from that site. So I really appreciate you sending me that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Peter Gay. But yeah, y'all are correct. I um am going to do the border. Jackie, I know you be paying attention. Uh, so, I'm going to turn it this way. And like I said, I'm using this glue here. Gorilla glue. And, um, hey, Chrissy okay so as you can see i don't know if y'all can see the consistency of this glue see how it comes out 
Now you know um that E6000 would have kept on pouring, pouring, pouring out. But I'm gonna just dab something like this. And I just go along the border like that. I'm gonna stop right there. See, this don't come out as much as um it's not seeping out right here like the e6000 normally would but sometimes it does do that i think it's where i pinched it here that that's why it's not coming out but anyway so i'm gonna put this over here can y'all see that i hope so all right so i'm gonna start with this one right here push it down a little bit because sometimes when you get it over the stitching here the stitching right there i don't know if y'all can see it's kind of like like knotted with so that it can stay you gotta put enough glue there so that the rhinestone will um will stick and this is something like you know you can wear these slides whether you know how you go to a wedding or something your feet start hurting i can't stand when people just walk around barefoot i don't like that but that's just me i don't even really walk barefoot in my home it's just i just really don't like that unless i'm like running to the bathroom in the middle of the night or something but most of the time my, my shoes are by the bed so i put my slippers on or my crocs or something like that but i don't like to see when people you just walk barefoot like at weddings and stuff so this is a nice little uh blingy slide to wear if you want to take your heels off or i had mine on today my little dirty pink ones i'll be talking about yeah i had those on today they are so comfortable uh i get a lot of compliments on anything bling that i wear so it was perf a perfect day for them it was hot outside i had on pink so this is something that would be cute you could still wear it out of the way and even though it's like a nike sign and stuff but it looks dressy and sparkly you know people get the sneakers for the wet and so you can wear the slides at the wet and once you know you at the reception or whatever like that so that's a nice little idea instead of walking barefoot uh thanks to you i just performed my tennis shoes in the look and they look awesome oh nice i'm glad bonnie me either you don't know what is on the floor right because it's been a couple times that i have stepped on rhinestones believe it or not uh put some heat on the corner oh to make it melt thank you peter get look y'all be teaching me stuff too so that's good to know i'm gonna try that too um oh my god it's saying i don't like walking barefoot even in my own bedroom on my bathroom yeah my daughter can't stand walking barefoot what you say in the bathroom right she don't like that either. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't really walk barefoot at all. Can't even do it with socks on. That's nice to too. That's funny. Really? Bending that shoe when they're playing in it, you'll get a creep. You just will because even if there's no glitter on the shoe, okay. if you wear it enough, it'll get a creep on the back part. All right, so that's the border right on that side so far. This, um... Let me start on the front part. No problem. I think I may need to order some A, B, and a bigger size to do my slides. Well, what size did you order, Jackie? I normally do um S S twenties. You can do you can do sixteens though. I've never done it in um completely in sixteens though. I use those as filler stones when I need them. But it's really it's really up to you. That's just how how I do it. But, um, you know, people people use different sizes and stuff like that. You don't have to use the size that I say. It's just, um, they would look really nice in a smaller size because it'll be, you know, a smaller stone more together and stuff like that. So I don't think that that would not look right. I think it would look nice. I do my sneakers in um, 16s, though. Even my, um, like my laptop cases, I do those... <laughs> Oh, excuse me, y'all. I do those in um, SS20s as well. So, if you want to, when you think about adding some 
No, she did the whole front. Look at that. Dang. You see that? Mm-mm. I have a lot of 16s. Yeah, why don't you try it with the 16s and see how you like it? You doing it for yourself or do you plan on selling them? Don't say nothing about the laptop cases. <laughs> Does anyone have questions? Oh, you don't? Oh, okay, for you. Yeah, so you could try it, and you don't have to finish it, you know, within a time, a certain time frame since it's for you. Me, you know I got to get this stuff done. Those are the diamond painting. Oh, my God. I did not know this could be done. It's bedazzling and pretty. Thank you, Janice. Or Janice. I don't know if I'm saying your name incorrectly. What kind of glue do you use? Esme, I am using Gorilla Glue for this tonight. Thank you for the likes, Peter Gay. Thank you all for the likes. Thank you for joining tonight. Thank you everyone who following me tonight and people who are already followers. Thank you. And the tag, I normally like to leave the tag on and I just move it to the, uh, to, to the side because I like people to know that they are, you know, brand new. So I'm gonna move this over here. Out the way like that. So I'll keep it like that. And I know these rhinestones give off like that purpley iridescent look. This this these are just kind of coated with something. These are really just clear rhinestones, but has that A B uh coating on it. That's all these are, but it gives off like purple, pink, yellow, different, you know, blue hues and stuff. So that's basically all AB is. How long does it take you to do a pair of slides? Beautiful. Then green to, I could do a pair in a day, honestly. Um, but for my clients to receive it, it can be four to six weeks. Of course, if, you know, production time, if I receive, if I have to order the slide, I have to wait to get the slide, stuff like that. But it takes four to six weeks to receive it. Of course, if I finish ahead of time, I'll send it out once it's complete, completely dry and everything like that. But I, I um, do four to six weeks because I get multiple orders. So I don't want people to think like, oh, well, if you do it, if you could do them in a day, why I got to wait four to six weeks? Because you're not the only order that I'm working on. And I also work full time and I'm a single mom. So it's not like this is this is not my full time job. This is my business on the side. I work a full time job Monday through Friday. And, you know, some people don't care about that, but I do. So I had somebody hit me up. They wanted something done within a week. It was actually less than a week. And it just was I'm like. 
well i i can't do it i'm sorry i'm not gonna just tell you i could do something have it to you shipping and everything in less than a week because you have an event coming up i can't do that and then you know once i ship it i'm not in control of the post postal service all i could do is provide you with the tracking information after that i can't make the delivery go any faster so sometimes people don't understand that either they feel like everything is just on you but i don't work for the postal service so um but yeah it takes four to six weeks again if you know it's done before then and it's done drying and everything like that i definitely will ship it out to you ahead of that time frame uh thank you then green do you have any av crystals in a com combination size um yeah they should be on that um thing jackie when you um when you go on that link on my um bio if you just hover over it it should pull up like the sizes and stuff so you just gotta read the um like the description or whatever you call it and it'll tell you like ss2 or ss3 up to ss20 or whatever size so yeah they are um the variety mix sizes up there as well you just gotta kind of look for it um uh oh i dropped the wrong one uh i'm trying to complete my order you are talented. thank you desiree i'll be back okay thank you kashon for the likes kashon or kashon i'm sorry if i'm saying it incorrectly so yeah, I'm basically doing a border. I am doing um SS twenties here. The border is very important to start with. If you are new here and you're not following me, please hit the, the follow, the plus button. And follow me. Follow me. Follow me. I'm going to put a little small one right there because I don't like that being open like that. So let me see. It's like a, yeah, I might use this size here. Okay. now I just gotta do across the top here but this is uh, what it's gonna end up looking like it's gonna be completely covered like that now outside you can see that this is you can see this clear here too but it kind of is very close to the AB but once it's outside and it's sparkling you'll definitely see that Nike sign you don't have to get the Nike sign in clear this is how I started out doing it and everybody liked this way but if you want, it looks nice with black. If you check out my Instagram page, at Symphony's Treasures, follow me there. Um, you'll see the different renditions of the Nike slots that I've done. I've done blue, orange, green, uh, the AB Crystal like this. If you get AB Crystal, you can get pink, a pink Nike um, sign. Um, black, black makes it pop. It looks really good. So you don't have to get, you know, you don't have to get it the way you just see it here. You can get... Um, different color nike slides whether it, it it's the uh a b in a different uh uh nike sign color or a different a b color like um you want blue or whatever like that you don't have to get it exactly how you see me doing it here thank you desert brand and thank y'all for the likes and everything thank you thank you Peter, what, what kind of glue do you use, Peter Gay, for your um hats? Y'all gotta check her out. She makes hats with rhinestones and stuff on it. And follow her here and on her um Instagram page. Go put your Instagram page um in the comments if you want to. But y'all gotta check her out. She makes some really uh nice headpieces and hats and 
all of that it's real nice so she's also like a bling artist and stuff like that i don't know if she's still in here or not well if she is she can um you know put her information to be followed because she's here on tiktok and she posts as well Thank you, Milani Summers, for sharing the live. Oh, it probably was fixed. Who knows? Oh, yeah, I forgot that was coming on tonight. Mm -hmm. my, I was looking for my glue. Now, I'm going to move the sign back over here so it can get up out of the way. Okay, so that's fine. And you see, I'm just dabbing it like this. And you don't have to do a whole lot of the area all at one time because you don't want the, I don't know, it depends on your speed. You don't want the glue to um, start to cure and then you have to add more. Like I said, this glue is uh, kind of thick. So you want to use not a lot, but you want to use enough. And you want to make sure you know that it's, it's on there secure. But don't press down like that and then the glue comes up over the stone and takes away the shine. You may see some of the glue come through like that, but it's not covering my stone. Peter Gay, did you hear me? I don't know if you were gone or not, but I was telling them how you make beautiful, um, like bling hats and head pieces and stuff like that. And I was telling you to, um, you can follow her here on TikTok as well as her Instagram page. So you can put your um, information down in the comments, Peter, if you want to. But y'all gotta check out her stuff, like another artist and beautiful black woman doing beautiful things with bling and stuff like that so i enjoy her tiktok page and her um instagram page she really makes nice things so be sure peter to put your um your info down here tiktok mom where do you buy the glue um the easy i mean i'm using gorilla glue so you can get this from any craft store like michael's where i live is michael's and um hobby lobby but you can also order right off Amazon. I think I put it on my um my Amazon storefront on my bio here on TikTok. So you can um you know get it from there. You can get it from um I don't need, I don't even know. I think maybe even the hardware store sell this stuff because this is like an industrial glue. So but definitely check Amazon. Uh like I said, I got the storefront up there. If you go to my homepage here on um tiktok and click the link i have a lot of links where you can order right from there that's my amazon storefront i don't sell it 
Yeah, I, I thought so, Bonnie. Yeah, like Home Depot, Lowe's. Because it's, you know, considered like a hardware type of glue, industrial type of glue. So you can get it from uh, multiple places. Um, the hardware store, uh, the craft store, Amazon. Check it out. Oh, you're welcome, Peter. And your price is the same. Mm-hmm. What? Can you see? Is that enough light? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see, can I fit three more here? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to put a smaller one in this area, y'all. So I'm gonna put a 16 right there because I don't want to squeeze a um 20. So I'm gonna use my filler stone sizes here and I'm going to do a 16. This is a size 16 here. And see how that fit perfectly in there? And it's not going to be, you know, much of a difference. You're, you're not going to really be able to tell once the rest of the shoe is filled in. So that's the border. And it, it normally doesn't take me this long. I'm just doing a lot of yapping tonight. Um, but I do want to show y'all the difference in sizes. I was showing y'all this the other day. Well, wh whoever was, you know, up here. So I'm going to show y'all the three different sizes. Um... Where's my 16? All right. So, this here is the biggest stone that I've ever had. I've never used it, but this is a SS30. I don't know if y'all can see that. I hope y'all can because the way my lighting is. All right, I think that's a better view. So, this is a SS30 right here, and SS just simply means stone size. So that's the SS30. A lot of um, bling artists who do like um, uh, uh, what you call it, clothes and stuff for like competitions, gymnasts and uh, or ice skating stuff like like that. They use a lot this size a lot. But um, this is a SS30. This is a 20, which is the one I'm using on the slide. Majority of the slide is SS20, and this is 16. So the standard sizes that I use on a regular basis are the SS16 here and the 20s. I use SS20 a lot for the back of my Converse sneakers, that little strip in the back. So I use it for that. I use it for the circle part around the logo. Um, I use this for my laptop cases. And the, 20, um, the 16s here, I normally use for my Converse sneakers. So they're normally all done in ss 16s and i use filler stones all different sizes to fill in those gaps and stuff like that so that is the difference in size and you can see how large it is so the bigger the number the larger the size of the stone 30 20 and 16. i've never used the 30 for anything so far but who knows it may come in handy i may have to i'm not sure and I think the bigger the stone, the more the cost as well. Uh, will do. Thank you so much. Love watching your work. It's beautiful. Thank you, TikTok mom. Do you prefer Gorilla Glue over the E6000? No, I don't really have a preference with the two. I like, they, they to me, they're one and the same. They both work very well. I, I'm just trying to not use it a whole lot because, you know, it's toxic, so... Um, if you can try another glue, then that's great. That would be awesome. But I do like the hold that they both provide. So I don't prefer either one over the other. One over the other. Um, you working on your website? Oh, nice. I know it's going to be nice. If you need help, visit ZakiDesigns.com. He, um, he did my website. That's my fiance. He, he did my website. It's very nice. Uh... Zaki Designs, Z A K E Y Designs dot com. Uh, um, who else? 
Yes, we can. And yes, SS40. Wow, I've never seen I never seen like an SS40 up close though. I know it's a lot big, bigger than the um 30s. But wow. I've seen like the big stones in different shapes, but I, I don't think I've ever seen it in the flat back stones like this. The round cut stone. Thank you, Omari, for following me. Thank you, Jen Blinn, for following. Thank y'all for the likes. So now I'm just going and I'm just filling it in. And I, I got to work a little bit faster because, I, like I said, I have my fan on that causes the glue to kind of cure a little bit faster. Let me take a sip of drink water, y'all. Let me put something in the comments, y'all. Uh-oh, hold on. I'm still here. I'm just... Y'all gonna see me post something. That's my other account, but... So basically, Christina Morgan, that's me. That's my other account. So anybody looking for websites, y'all can check out that one. It's for help. Let me just finish adding, because I got a little bit of glue right there already. So let me just add some more here. I like to wipe off the glue to keep the top of it nice and clean. And he offers um, different packages and stuff based on your needs. So it's kind of like, I guess you can say a la carte based on what you want done, different pages and stuff like that. So anybody in search of a website designer or a developer, the information is there. He he's very um creative and patient. And I do get a lot of compliments about my website. Of course, I, you know, I told him what I wanted and he was able to do it. So we both kind of um, came up with it together. I'm going to put a rhinestone right here. See, I don't want this gap being that big right there. So I'm going to use a little small rhinestone. I'm going to use it one bigger than that. Um, I'm going to use this one here to fill it in right there. All right. And now I'm going to... I think I'm gonna just continue going down this way. I, I didn't know I wasn't in the frame again, y'all. No problem, Peter. I knew that was her. I like watching her YouTube. Just by her voice, I could tell that that was her. Her? Mm-hmm. The way she speak. Mm. You got some good hearing, because I can't even hear her speaking. You have, oh, I thought you had your headphones in. Mm-mm. Does anyone have questions?
Um, Belinda, I'm, hey Belinda, I'm using um e uh Gorilla Glue tonight. It works just like E6000. You know, Belinda? Uh, yeah, she's been up here before. Also, what tools? Um, this is just a rhinestone. I mean, a um, wax rhinestone pickup tool. This was a gift, but I sell the ones that look like this on my website. It has the wax end, just like this one. So it's a wax end. Um, and then it has the metal tip on the end. But I sell these, the the pink ones on my own. Well, they're not pink, but the ones like this on um, my website symphonystreasures.com thank you thank you peter you said you use um what you use e6000 for the hats and stuff too or you use a different type of, do you use a specific uh, fabric glue? I had that fabric glue. I think I had showed y'all. I put, I put a post up. Where is it? I think I moved it. But it's the ultimate. It's called the ultimate. And it's, it's, it's a great glue. I just don't know how to get it out the bottle. Um, as far as, um, oh yeah, some somebody, maybe it was you. They, they sit it in some warm water or something like that to like loosen it up or something somebody told me i haven't tried it yet though since i tried it the first since i used it that first time but um i did like the hold that it provided it was very um strong a strong hold not not scent but i liked it a lot and i do want to use it because I, I believe that one is non-toxic as well so i'm gonna fill in these gaps right here because to me, those are not natural size gaps. And I'm going to move this one over a little bit. Or maybe I'll just add another one right there. Yeah, I think that's good. I love your videos. Oh, thank you, Belinda. No, E6000. E6000 Gorilla all the same. Mm -hmm, I agree. Alright, so let me put... I'm gonna put a little one right there. And then that's what the metal part is for. Like, you know, you put it where you want it and then make sure that it's um, stuck down. And I need another size like this. Oh, I can't pick it up this one. And I'm gonna put one right here and make sure that it's pressed down. I'll move that over just a little bit. So I think that's okay. Let me press this one down a little bit. I'll make sure that it's um still adhere adhering to the, the glue. And the bigger the rhinestone, the heavier it's gonna be. But I was um doing a little thing the other night and people were wanting to know um like how heavy how what's the biggest size I can pick up with um using this tool here. And I picked up a size up to a size thirty. Now I'm sure it can pick up heavier than that, but I've never I don't have anything bigger than a size thirty, so Oh, you have a cat you working on? nice have i been to the outside flower show no is it in is it in jersey where is it jackie i haven't look i picked up two y'all not on purpose. I'm going to put a, a 16 right here. So 
See how these trays are stackable? You said what? All right, I don't. That's disgusting. Ew, you making me itch. What kind of page? What channel? What page was that on? Ugh. On my for you page. Why? Tell them you don't want to see that. Can't you click the little um, that little thing and tell them you don't want to see see stuff like that? Cause that makes me itch. I don't like looking at that type of stuff. Oh, it's in Philadelphia. Don't you send that to me. <laughs> it's not at the convention center anymore. Oh. No, I, I haven't been. That's something that would be nice. I like doing stuff like that. And see, that's what I'm telling y'all. This glue is kind of thicker than um, uh, E6000, in my opinion. So I like to dab it on like that. Me too, but now I would have to pay. <laughs> Now, I'm going to put a rhinestone right there because that's not a normal size gap. Same thing with that. So I'm going to let this dry overnight. I'll probably send it out on Wednesday though because I don't want to send it out tomorrow. I'm going to give it some more time to dry. Tuesday is uh, my grandmother's funeral, so I'm not sending anything out Tuesday. And uh, so Wednesday, it'll be ready to be shipped. So I'm going to fill that in, those little gaps there. Okay. Thank you, Bonnie. Three people said they ordered from you. Oh, wait. Um, yes, that's the people I gave your information to. For oh, thank you. Thank you, Bonnie. Yeah, her hats are so nice. Y'all gotta check out Peter Gay. Yeah. Very, very nice. And this is what this metal tip is for. Basically, to place, make sure you know it's placed down where you want it. That's, that's what it looks like so far, y'all. Let me get some of this glue off of my little tool. Okay. And sometimes I do like to go along the border again, right underneath, because it just it makes it more uniform as well. So that's what I'm gonna start doing right now.
Katie, I can show you the one that is done. It's gonna look like this. Yeah, you gotta see it sparkle in the sunlight. It's so pretty. If you if you go to my post, I think I posted one. Yeah, I posted one today. Well, yesterday. Um, finished. One of them I finished in the sun. You'll see it. And it looks really nice and sparkly. Thank you. Thank you, um, JD. All right, I'm going to stop right there. I see it's leaking out a little bit, see? So you got to put the top back on it, but it's not as a it's not as fast as a leak as um E6000 in my opinion. Uh-oh, I put too much glue right there, see? I'm gonna just scoop it up. And kind of slide it right there. Okay. Now, since the tag is here, I'm gonna just start with that next row. And then, um, I'm gonna just, I think I'm gonna probably just keep doing it like that for right now. And you can work with a small area because like i said the glue can sometimes dry fast if you don't move fast enough so don't um do like how you probably see me do on a normal basis and cover it with the uh the glue thank you katie thank you jd um jada lynn hey <laughs> this is literally my first time on tiktok so do you sell them Yes, Katie, if you visit my um website, symphoniestreasures.com, it's the same as my TikTok handle. It's just uh dot com after um behind it. You can check out all of the items that I sell. I offer Sezzle as well where you pay in four installment payments. So I feel like that's a that's a bonus. You know, some people don't offer that on their website. Um Oh, you use a glue gun oh, for real? Somebody was telling me to use a glue gun for this, but I found a little uh, hack for glue guns. Like, you know how the glue stick keeps falling out and stuff? Put some of the glue on the, um, the inside of the thing, and it won't fall out because it's stuck there until, you know, you run out from the neck, uh, until you need the next glue stick. I was like, oh, that is so smart. You do that, okay. Mm-hmm. And also, um, Katie, to see like some of the other stuff that I make, you can um follow my Instagram page, it's also Symphony's Treasures. I post everything that I make up there and have made in the past, so you can check that out. If you um join sign up for to join my email list you can get 10 percent off of your um purchase yes you are right thank you user one um what is it 11 1106 
Thank you, Cynthia, for sharing the live. So here I am. For the new people, I'm trying to refresh the room. Anyone that is new here, I'm a New Jersey bling artist. I ship world, well, not worldwide, um, U.S. All over the U.S. Um, you can follow me here. If you're not following me here, my name is Christina. I add bling. Bling is my thing. I add bling to just about anything. Uh, I do custom handmade bling items. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Tumblers. Nike slides. Converse sneakers. Sweatshirts. So as far as like bling hoodies. Uh, laptop cases. Mugs. I even make mugs with the um, Cricut prep mug press now. I love that thing. Um, what else? What else do I bling? Uh, yeah, the cup. Cups, the Starbucks cups. Oh, can you give me that purple um thing so I can show them that? The um purple water. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Basically anything. I've I've done a lot of bling items. Thank you. This is something that I just recently did. So this is a water bottle. And um I offer these on my website. So, it's blinged at the bottom here, and the top is bling along with the initial. So, that's something else that I offer. Sorry for shaking the camera, y'all. Um, so, you can check out oh, the bag. Oh, thank you. Oh, the bag, I um have a vendor for that. I haven't blinged a bag yet. My bling strings are also from a vendor, but everything else that um I offer up there are um is handmade with the bling, except for the the strings, the um the mask lanyards. Those are also uh what you call it a uh, vendor. And yeah, I think I think that's basically the only things that I don't have that I don't that I offer that are not handy. So thank you Legiri Legiri. Oh yeah, and I sell these tools. The tool you see me using, I sell those on my website as well. That's not handmade of course, but I do sell them. I actually will have to be restocking soon because I'm getting low on my inventory for those. And a lot of people are buying those up. So I have to restock those. Oh, y'all, I'm getting some people in here. A good amount of people now. I'm surprised that everybody's up this late. Well, it's not that late. It's, it's about to be 1 o'clock. I've been up here until like 3 and 4 in the morning working on stuff welcome to all the new people or followers and stuff oh sorry i was thinking you do the put the goodie with them uh, thank you no 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 i haven't um no i didn't i didn't handling those it would be nice to but that would uh that would take a, some things i have to you know get from a vendor because that will take a lot of time away from me doing my other stuff like the sneakers and stuff like that stuff that people do actually buy a lot from me a lot of from me are the sneakers laptop cases and these nike slides those are like my number I'll, I'll say number three sellers my top three sellers because a lot of times people are going like to weddings or um i'm just wiping the excess glue off like this getting it right off the crevice and then i'll use this to push it back where i want it um but yeah so 20 years ago i made good bling string what girl bless your heart and your hands because that is that's a that's a lot yeah people was thinking that i told y'all i had this one girl say yeah she claimed she didn't make the bling string 
and don't want to tell. I'm like, why do I have to lie about doing something? Like, I don't have time for y'all with that mess. I'm like, I never said that I made the bling string. As long as I've been selling that bling string, I always say that I did not hand make it. I don't have a secret or anything like that about me making or not making something. If anything, I would be proud to say I made that because that that's a lot of work. So kudos to you, Peter, because I, I don't think I would want to. It, it's just mm -mm, it's too much. I feel like this is already a lot, you know, what I'm doing. Man, it's then still managing my, my job, my full-time job on top of being a mom and stuff. Yeah, and then my own personal life. I, mm -mm. So I'm like, why would I ever lie about making something? But, you know, that's how some people... They they like to get you know a row out of you or whatever, but anyway, um, thank you for sharing the live, y'all. I love the water bottle. That's how I want to do my things, but I don't know which glue is best. I used um liquid fusion on that, but you could use a lot of different glues for that. What is a bling string? Oh, those are my hoodie strings. You know how a hoodie has the string. If you if you check out my website, you'll see it or either um, my post here. My website is symphonytreasures.com. But if you check out, oh, it was on New York Times. Nice. If you check out um my my page here, like kind of scroll back, maybe to like us this month is June, maybe April, something like that. You'll see it. Oh, that's nice. It was on um, New York Times. Okay, I'm going to fill in that gap right there. So, I'm going to just put me a little bit of glue right there. And put it inside this little area and twist. So, here I'm going to put like... Um, oh, okay. You good? All right. Cool. I'm going to use... um. I don't know what size this is offhand, but it fits, so that's what I'm using. Okay. <laughs> You're tired. You need to put a bed. I don't wanna. Why? Yes. Get some of this glue out too. And then you can use like alcohol to get some of the excess glue out. Some people use acetone. But you gotta make sure it's dry, but not all the way dry. You wanna get it before it um completely cure because then it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. You're not gonna be able to just get it up. Thank you. Thank you, um user one eleven what one ten sixty four. Alright, so I'm gonna just keep going like on the line like this here. I'm gonna put the top on it because see it's more coming out. So let me just let me just do like another little row right here. y'all see I'm put one right here and sometimes I go around the neck the Nike check in s 16s but I didn't do that this time I think I'm gonna put two um, 16s right there, so I'm gonna leave that for a little bit until I do this part here. Okay, let me go back and I'm gonna do my 16s. Let me see if two can fit there. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to use a smaller one than that. But yeah, that was that's fine. And then I'll go back to, I'm going to put a, a 20 right there. 
another small one could fit here. Let me see. Uh, let me see if a 16 could fit. I'll put the 16 right there. And I'm going to put a 20 here. And then just fill in that little space. And see, over time, the more you do it, you'll kind of figure out what size you want where or what size fits best where there hey brina all right let me see get that glue off I'm gonna put some small ones in this area here. Okay. And that's just basically to let me get some of that glue off. That's just to fill it in, you know. Does anyone have questions? I'm gonna try to answer some before you know y'all ask me. I am using gorilla glue. I'm using majority this size is um this size is SS20 majority of the shoe is SS20 um I use filler stones as well where's my stones let me go for some more SS20 oh thank you Brina a lot of people said they like my nails I told y'all I don't like them I don't like this design this time but thank you. I mean, it's not. It's okay. I wouldn't get it again. I'm using Gorilla Blue, as you see here. Um, let me just fill in some more here. And I'm just pushing and dabbing, pushing and dabbing, like blotting, I guess you could say. Like if it was a paint canvas, sometimes people blot on the canvas. So that's exactly what I'm doing right here. I'm back. Okay, sweet boy. right here and like if you see me you see I'm doing like the border part like the second layer of the border so this is the one and this is two it's kind of easy to follow along as well because you're just putting it right one over the other border down like that thank you sweet boy uh, one more. What, what you say sweet boy what, what you trying to say I think I'm reading it wrong I gotta use some filler stones right here. Mm, no, I'm not gonna use that one. Can I put this in here? Nope, that's too too big. 
So I'll take that one out and use a little bit of a small one. I think this one. Yeah, that size is good. And sometimes I use this side. I have like a little bit of glue on it. That's what I like to do. Use that sometimes. Get that size again. Let me see. You can do this. Sometimes these um rhinestones start looking the same, so like the smaller ones, even though these are like different sizes, sometimes they start looking the same to me because uh I'll put it right here. And then I'll put a small one here. And then I'm going to use the, the 16 and put that there. Oh, wait, let me see. I saw this earlier when you had barely done anything and seeing it now it looks really cool thank you cheese tacos i like cheese and tacos um it looks so so nice amazing great job i want mine oh <laughs> thank you sweet boy thank you miss nice for sharing a live thank you girl writer for following me my husband is looking at it as well and he liked it but not for him for me oh I'll tell your hubby i said hi sweet boy and tell him i said thank you Uh, let's see where is the size that I need I'm gonna put you right here I'm gonna put you right there make it make sure it's nice and stuck let me push you down a little bit more okay I'm gonna put that right there and uh, I need I need the ones that are like this this size here. So I'm trying to look in my little my little tray. I think is this it? Yeah, that's one. And then I need another one. So I'm about to put that one right there. You can go right there. And then I can put like some two two small ones right there. Am I in the frame? Yes. All right. So y'all see that that's not a normal size gap right there. So that's why it's important. I say it all the time to have filler stones and whatever color rhinestone you are using, whether it's AB crystal like this, whether it's blue, black, orange, purple, yellow, whatever. Um, it's very important to have a filler stone the same color colors as whatever it is you're adding bling to and um another thing that i like to um that y'all know let me show y'all the finished product this is how far i've gotten tonight because i'm doing a lot of blabbering but this is what it looks like so that's the finished product that's what this is going to end up looking like and like I said, once you're outside and you're walking and you're wearing them, these gaps aren't even going to be um, noticeable, especially in the summer. I mean, the sunlight, I meant to say. It's just going to look like a whole lot of bling sparkle, I'm telling you. So, these are not shower shoes. I do send um, extra rhinestones. And anything that i like bling that is handmade i sent extra rhinestones and like a little small glue whether it's e6000 or gorilla glue so in case something falls off you can put it back up there it doesn't happen often but sometimes it happens and it also depends on how well a person takes care of a shoe and then you know people walk different please don't go running any shoes or you know 
I wouldn't wear them. I mean, you can wear them to the pool if you want to, but this is still glue. So, you know, it's a handmade item. So you just got to be smart about, you know, what you're doing in them, how you're doing it in them and stuff like that. I wouldn't wear these to the pool because who wants their feet, their wet feet? Because this is on um, fabric underneath here. Now, this part would be cool, but, you know, Nike even make the water shoes with the Nike sign and stuff like that. It's a different material, though. It's like kind of like a silicone looking material, I guess. But I just wouldn't wear it to like the pool or anything like that. What type of glue are you using? Um, Takiki, I'm using Gorilla Glue. Oh, yeah. Thank you for saying um, hi back. So how much for if he if he asks? They are seventy dollars on my website. Oh my god. Hey, hey CVS Pharmacy. Feels like so long ago since the Converse you would be dazzling. <laughs> I know. I and I got like five more pairs to do. So I'll be up here doing that as well. That's like one of my number one sellers, y'all that i, I kind of want to start working on new stuff but i can't right now because i got these orders to fulfill and gotta get them out so i'm not even able to work on um, other stuff how do you like working with your cricket mug oh i love it i'm so happy that i got it it is so i just i love it i wanted to make something tonight but i got home kind of late and i wanted to get one live and um do it that you know do this so but yes i i love my cricket mug press i'm so happy with the purchase all right here i'm gonna i'm gonna use the 16s here i'll put the 16s along the nike check I might as well get my 16s out, but um, it's kind of being lazy. It's better that I get them out, though, because now you see I'm, like, looking for it in my mix batch. But um, let me see. Can one fit here? So this one can fit right there. And then I'll put like a smaller one here and then this here and I'll put that one right there and another 16 right here Then I think here I could do a 20. Yeah. And I'm going to do 16 here. And then. Then I'm going to put one right here. I'm looking for like a little bit of a smaller one. Yeah, I see one. I'm looking for like the one that's like that size right there. Let me push this down a little bit more. I'll turn that down. A little. Uh, I think I just put this one in. Push this down a little bit. Right, so now I'm gonna move up to this part and try to get like some of that done. Let me take a sip of water, Joe. 
what is that tool to pick up the stones this is a rhinestone pickup tool it's available for purchase on symphoniestreasures.com do you do diamond dots i don't do diamond dots a lot of people use diamond dots for stuff like this too though Had to get some water, y'all. Thank you for the likes. Thank y'all for following. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, um, see me shine. See me shine. That's cute. Thank you, Yvonne, for following. CVS, thank you for the likes. I'm kind of like doing smaller areas. And I do like to wipe off my um the tip of my glue after each uh little application that I put up there. I'm gonna put some 16s in here just so I don't have to be looking and searching for them. Um, Oh, that's the um di diamond dots are the ones that people use for the diamond painting. All right, so let me put this here. Lorianne, thank you for the likes. All right, so I'm going back to my 20s right here. Oh, shoot. Let me wipe that off. Sometimes that happens, y'all, so it's not a big deal, but I just don't be wanting to touch this glue like that. So let me clean this off. Oh, hey, Peachy. Paint with? What's that? Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. And another reason why I like doing this is because it's it's very relaxing. A lot of people like watching it because it's like relaxing to them. Um I do get why because I know I get something out of doing it so I know people make it something out of watching it so I, I do understand that it, you know some people said um, doing this helps with their anxiety or, or watching it also helps them with their anxiety so I do understand that so I'm gonna just go ahead and do these 16s around this part yes please thank you you got water in your room it's that one over there but you can put it back on three yeah uh i have picked up so many of your little habits that i was trying my conversation in a couple of weeks conferences in a couple of weeks oh great mm -hmm. it's therapeutic watching you work how did you get started thank you miss nice thank you breezy for the perfume wow i never got perfume i love me some perfume thank you breezy <laughs> um how did I get started? I just started doing my own, like, blinging my own stuff. And then people would compliment me on it and ask where I got it from. And I told them that I, I made it. And um, that's how my business started. I, I never tried to have a business or be an entrepreneur or anything like that. 
it just really it fell into my lap and that's like god honest truth um i always like to you know kind of have my own style be you know stand out look different from the rest and stuff you know i always like sparkle and bling always been like a girly girl so that's basically how i started i started with like earrings and bracelets and stuff like that and uh branched out into bling and that's really how it how it started for me i also found out that painting with diamonds is very addicting which i like yeah i know a lot of people that that's doing that and they they think that this is what i'm doing and i'm like oh no no well i consider this just bling you know blinging but people call it stress and different things they call it but i um i've never tried the diamond painting or anything but i think that uh oh i think it's beautiful i love the way it comes out in the end it kind of reminds me of paint by number or like when you was a kid well when i was a kid i used to do those little um you know the paint by number or color by number it reminds me of something like that just like a more uh arty artsy type of uh way if that's i don't know how else they really explain it but it is beautiful i like it a lot but I, I don't think that that's something that if i was to get into that that would just be you know a hobby for me but i feel like i have enough going on right now doing this and it's kind of like similar so i don't feel like there's a need for me to, to take on a another project like like this um but i think that it is beautiful i love to see people do that and show like the outcome i need a little bit more glue right there what makes it stick um so i put the glue down first but then it's wax on this in here that's that's a wax um tip so that's what is making it stick the glue and the wax is being picked up um picking it up with the um the wax tip I guess you could say I'm halfway done, y'all. So let me move the tag over to this side over here. Because this side is kind of dry. So. What about the metal side? The metal side? Oh, yeah. That's like basically when you want to like press it down or position it where you want it you can kind of like use that to slide it wherever it is you really want the rhinestone to be do you ship to london england no i'm sorry i, I don't do international shipping I know I'm missing probably out on a lot of money um, not shipping internationally because I get a lot of people asking me that. But the um, shipping prices and stuff like that is just, I don't know, I got to look into it more because I've done it, I've sent it to Canada, uh, you know, maybe two years ago, but I sent it to a YouTuber and I was just so surprised by like the, the price of the shipping. And it's kind of like, it takes away from like, your profit but you know i know i would have to factor um the price of shipment into the um into the product price but um that's one reason why i haven't really opened it up to uh international shipping even when i'm ordering from my vendors that that uh shipping price that i have to uh pay is a lot and I understand, like, a lot of my stuff is overseas and stuff like that, but it is just really a lot. But I know I, I am missing out on more money 
because I have a lot of people um, that ask me about uh, shipping, you know, out of a, uh, you know what, I want to pick this one up and take it out because I could fit a 20 right here and I don't know where my tweezers are offhand, so just got to do it this way. But, um, I know it's money to be made shipping, um, internationally. Okay. Don't put the glue on you. I know that's right. <laughs> it's on two leaves. You have no need to do painting with diamond, but you have ever worked with pearls. Yeah, I've worked with pearls. I've done a pair of these and pearls. They were actually uh, for my daughter. So I've done pearls um, as well. There's people that would pay for their shipping. Yeah, I know. But um, on my website, it's like the specific way that I, I have the way Wix work a lot of times you kind of gotta I, I was trying to figure out a way where you know i could just do it for with that specific thing but maybe what i'll have to do is like start doing it as just a regular invoice whether it's through my website or on paypal or something like that and include that shipping in that way because if i add that on my website it, it's kind of i don't know how to really explain it it's going to it's just different doing it from the regular shipping and the shipping on my website um for international and like picking where you're shipping from and all like that gets complicated so that's why i was like because um somebody up here asked me about that and i told them yeah i'll add that on my website but then when i went to do it it was very it was like very difficult so i just didn't want to be bothered uh adding that up there and having to go around loops and to figure stuff out if that makes sense like it's just it was just kind of difficult but what i could do is just send them like a separate invoice where you know i'm going to draft it myself and add the shipping in where it's not going to change it on my website for um so maybe that's what i'll have to do because it is people that will pay especially if they really like you know what it is you're um you're you're creating and stuff because if they told me that they was like i'll pay whatever the shipping is so you're right but i have to uh i gotta revisit that because i don't like to not do something that somebody genuinely want me to make for them because of where they are located i don't think you know i don't really like that but that is a deterrent for me because it was it was like a challenge it was kind of difficult and i feel like i already have a lot of other stuff that i'm like dealing with all right where did that rhinestone go y'all because that was the size that i needed i don't know if it fell in here <clears throat> i don't know where it went but yeah that's something that i'll, I'll revisit that a little bit later down the line because I don't have a problem doing that because I know, you know, for those people that will pay. I like when people want something and I say, I'm going to shoot you over the invoice um, by, by a specific time. And as soon as I get, as soon as they get that invoice, I hear that little cha-ching so sound or my little alert that they paid. Because that means that they, they're serious. They, they mean business. Do you know how many times I've drafted invoices and people never pay? but they swear up and down oh no i want it you know blah 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 so it sometimes you know that's like a waste of time if you're not serious about it because that takes time out and i work full time so that kind of takes time for me to draft it it's no big deal but it's still time out my day where i'm you know working on my regular full-time job and taking time away from me working on my business as well it's taking time to stop to draft and order and everything so i do appreciate the people that actually follow through with um you know the invoice payments and stuff like that so hey lioness wait let me scroll up am i missing comments because i'm talking uh 
Good evening, beautiful. So, hey, hey, Linus. I'm working on that too, so I will keep you posted on how to do that. Okay, thank you. Um, hey, Mimi. Boss chick, I need these in my life and I'll pay for shipping. You will hear the cash that ring too. <laughs> Boss chick. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Oh, I already put the glue. Look at me. I'm trying to get some somebody skates to do. I don't want to do my skates. Because I like my skates the way they are. But I want to do someone's skates. some more glue right there before I add a stone so let me do does this glue have a stronger odor um to me yeah this one smells stronger than e6000 I don't even smell this one but maybe it's because the fan is on but it does have a smell it's stronger than e6000 to me the smell But it works just like E6000 in my opinion. It's just not as leaky or runny. And you can do my skates. Oh well, hit me up. Um, SymphoniesTreasures.com, lingerie lady, and put in the um, you know, put fill out the contact form, and we could get it, we could get it popping. Cause I, I want to show people that I'm not just Converse's and Nike slides and laptops and. I want, you know, I want people to know that I can do other things. I have a guitar that I, I plan on revamping, but haven't had a chance to get to that either. It's just a lot of things that I, I have in store that I want to work on. But I got to, you know, I got to get my um, orders and stuff out first before I start on something else. Because I'm, I'm the type, like when I'm just working on stuff leisurely, I don't even know if that's a word, but I just made it a word. Um... When I'm working on stuff, you know, in my own time, I like to do and show people that I can do a multitude of things, not just uh, what y'all see me make all the time. So that that's something that I want to tackle in the near future because um, I'm trying to, you know, really expand my brand and stuff like that, open myself up to different different um genres of bling items and stuff like that for musicians and different type of uh stuff like that so this is important that i um always you know honing up on my skills because i'm trying to make this one day be my full-time job so you know that's what i'm putting out out there i'm speaking it into existence i think that's very important for you to uh you know put out the things that you wish to um work towards in the future because it's very important you got to speak it in order for it to for you to believe it and make it possible so let me just use the regular side because you're not cooperating tonight you really showing off and yeah i talk to my rhinestones and stuff so yeah <clears throat> thank you, um, PYT Shauna, for sharing the live. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, hey, Thomas. Thank you, Awana, for sharing, um, following. Thank you, Oceana, for following. You got to get the sweatshirt done. Okay, the lioness. Thank you, Nini, for following the host. And good luck to you with that goal. You do nice work, beautiful. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to keep up with this stuff, y'all. Beautiful will do. Thanks, honey. You're welcome, lingerie lady. Where do you get your stones? Are they Swarovski Miss um Miss 13K? No, these are just um glass rhinestones. These are from Amazon. If you um go to my homepage, 
it's a link there it's my amazon storefront you can order a lot of the stuff that i use the rhinestones the trays different glues that i use it's there on my um it's uh, my home page here on tiktok thank you did uh how you say your name marlena thank you thank y'all for following thank y'all for the likes thank y'all for joining the live i appreciate y'all i know it's late and y'all up here hanging out with me it's a sunday night well monday morning now but thank you so much i have to go back to work uh on the 14th physically go back but only on mondays and i'm i'm grateful to have a job but i just got so used to working from home it's only one day a week that i have to physically report but i don't want to <laughs> but i'm gonna go because i'm just blessed to have a job a lot of people lost their jobs during the pandemic and stuff like that i've worked the whole pandemic and i'm blessed and grateful for that so that's just something that i'm just gonna have to readjust to and i definitely will i'll probably still be up late because i'm a night hawk and still got to get up for work in the morning but i'm gonna try to take it down a little bit earlier but i'm just glad it is on a Monday and not a Friday or middle of the week. So, because you know, it's, things are opening back up, although we are not in the clear. I don't know why people think that, but we are not in the clear 100%. So, especially it's getting warmer outside. People outside, they're not wearing masks. A lot of people didn't get vaccinated. So, you, you just don't know. But, you know, I, I just got to roll with the punches and do what I got to do. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. I just found out that I got to go back every Monday, um, actually on Friday. And I was like, what? I wasn't happy about it. But like I said, got to be blessed and thankful to have a job. So um, do you sell your creations? Yes, I do. Um symphoniestreasures.com the same as my um tiktok name just put dot com behind it um let me see can you show the glue oh wait what's what they're saying up here can you show the glue yes this is um this is just gorilla glue i'm using for this that is to who's asking me nita yeah um let's see Okay, thank you. I will be ordering the extra. Thanks for being awesome. Thank you, Miss 13K. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Lioness. Do you sell your creations? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Thank you, Pamela. <laughs> they are acting like COVID hasn't ever existed. Exactly. It, it's annoying. See, I work I work at, at a state building. And people have still been coming in and and you know but i was able to still function and do my work from home because that's the kind of work that i do so now oh i need you to come back in on monday i'm like what and i was like all right i'm just not happy about it but whatever um <clears throat> you're welcome i got my second vex those tomorrow at eight. Oh well i hope you feel better make sure you drink liquids and stuff like that i when i took my first one i didn't eat anything and it made my stomach hurt but it was only for like that 15 minutes and then it went away i was fine except the soreness in my arm but i kind of like a little bit of pain i'm weird so it didn't really bother me other than that but i know i should have eaten something and i just didn't sometimes i go a long time without eating throughout the day which is not good just because if i'm not like really really hungry i don't want to eat but I make up for it like later on in the day because I'm like, and I eat like several times a day. So I, I guess that's how I stay small, my metabolism or whatever. But I, I'm just not going to really eat if I'm not hungry. So, but I did, I should have eaten um, being that I know I was going to get the vaccine. So I have to get my second one. But, and I only got it because I was holding off, but I got it because I know like eventually they're probably going to make it mandatory especially if you are traveling somewhere or stuff like that and i don't judge people who choose not to get it 
and I don't judge people who do get it. I just didn't want to be one of the first ones to get it because I'm not a guinea pig. I don't want to be a guinea pig, but I knew people in my family that got it and they were fine. So it made me feel a little more secure to getting it. So, you know, like I said, I don't judge anyone who doesn't get it. It's a lot of people who don't get vaccines at all and, and that's their choice. But, you know, like during the pandemic in the very beginning when it started and my grandmother was still alive, I was not going over there to see her because even though I wasn't really going out much besides to like the grocery store and stuff like that, I didn't want to pass anything, potentially pass anything to my, my family, especially my grandmother, because she she was 90. So that's another reason why I got the vaccine, too, because I'm like, I don't you know, I never want to make anyone sick on my account. So. But, you know, she 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 passed um, the 27th, but it wasn't even from COVID. So I just like to, you know, protect myself and my family because it's not just about me. So and other people, too, you know, because you can really get it. It's like the luck of the draw. Basically, you can get it from somebody at a grocery store. You don't have to be out and about partying and hanging out in order for you to get it. So that's the misconception that people think you know you could just be doing your everyday routine going food shopping and you come across somebody that might be standing too close or you touch something or whatever so you just gotta stay prayed up and, and be safe <clears throat> and i'm gonna be dealing with the public i work in um i actually work at the courthouse in my town and you know i'm a court clerk so i'm the little person that sit next to the judge type the orders and do all that type of stuff but that's what i do for work so i work for the state and we come into contact with everybody so that's another reason why i'm like now let me get this let me get this vaccine because i'm not bringing this shit home to my daughter or my fiance or anybody in my other the rest of my family i, I don't want to bring it home to anybody so you gotta be you know think about other people besides yourself because if somebody god forbid in my family get it like in my household i'm gonna get it because we're gonna be around each other there's no way you can self-quarantine in a two-bedroom home so i'm just you know taking the necessary precaution to do what i feel is right for my family and my household and you know everybody can feel however they feel about it and that's on them but i did it and that's just that um Thank you so much, Brent. No problem. Hey, I heart Leah. Please take the name of the stone tray. The stone tray is in my bio here on TikTok. Uh, you, if you go to my homepage, click that link. And that's my Amazon storefront. You can get all of the stuff you see me using as far as the trays, the glue. I have other stuff up there as well. So you just got to kind of like <clears throat> scroll through the list and you'll see some of the... um items that i list up there for um purchase i don't sell it they, they're just links that i um share from amazon from purchases that i have made so i hope that helps um what is it lily what is what i might be missing some um because i'm you know i'm talking and stuff so i'm not really paying a whole lot of attention i'm talking and i'm blinging so i'm like kind of looking down let me see if i could put um yeah i think this one will fit right there Now here, I'm going to put some stones there because those are not normal size gaps. Uh, let me see. No, I don't work in, uh-uh. I never worked in Camden County. Uh, let me see. Yeah, the lioness, she died on the 27th. The day before, we were going to take her off the ventilator, so 
I'm glad that, you know, we didn't have to, you know, pull the plug. She she went when she was ready and when God was ready for her to go. So, yeah, I have, that's why I've been kind of distant off of um, TikTok. I've just recently started, like, posting more stuff because I've just been sad and feeling guilty about still kind of, like, doing this. Even though I'm like, no, you got to get up out of that rut because she would want you to continue on and, and help others and do things that you like to do. So, I'm doing this you know in memory of her as well um do you have to put some sort of top coat um uh, no you don't need a everything is once it once the glue dries that's it you never want to <coughs> you never want to cover the rhinestone because it's going to take the shine away oh yeah y'all answering for me thank you because i'm like i said i've been talking and looking down Thank you, Rachelle. Yeah, I don't know the name of these trays, honestly. Uh, Mighty Pepita, can you do lock grips? Um, yes, I'm sure I can. Mm -hmm. You have a good heart. Thank you, Jay. You want your AK? I saw somebody else do their gun. I was like, that's hot. Now, are you going to be using this gun? Or is it just going to be for show? I know you're going to use this gun. I saw somebody else do one with rhinestones. I was like, that's hot. These symbols are cute. Thank you, Marie. The vaccine doesn't protect or help build the immune system. That's okay, cue ball. You, you can feel how you feel. I'm still going to, um, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do because it's my body. So, that's fine. Um, you work in Kennedy County Mill. Uh, the bear would don't you don't have to respond to him or her. Everybody's gonna do whatever they want to do with their body. And like I said, um. That's just what I did for myself and for my family. So, and I get the flu shot. I've gotten vaccines, and I'm fine. So, I'm really not, um, you know, I'm not going back and forth with with anybody about, you know, any of that. You don't know what people putting in your food at these farms and all the food we eat. So, if if everybody is gonna be in such an uproar about getting a vaccine, then they should be like that about the food we eat the clothes we wear, the water we drink, all of that type of stuff. So, you know, everybody is entitled to their opinion and that is that means you cue ball. I'm not knocking what you choose not to do, so please don't come up in here knocking what I choose to do because it's not going to change my mind. I'm very um secure in what I do, why I do it and how I do it. And that's one thing if you don't know about Christina aka the owner of symphony's treasures is i'm not going to be talked out of anything that i choose to do so please don't come in here with your opinions trying to you know push them off on other people so that's that that's it and that's all now let me catch up with the stuff that people are saying that matters to me okay um Uh, let's see. Can anyone translate what Chaton Dejour, Dejour is saying? And because I only understand English, I'm sorry, I don't understand what this, what he's or sh what he or she is saying. Hi, Andy, I'm finding you. Yeah, I noticed you haven't been up here, the lioness. Uh. The stones will not fall off unless, you know, you're uh, doing certain things in it. I mean, stones can fall off, yes. I do send extra stones and um, glue with them so that they can be replaced just in case. Just like, you know, you shop and get a sweater or something at Macy's and it has specific buttons. They send you extra button in case, you know, you pop it off or whatever like that. It's the same concept. What kind of glue do you use? Jody? I am using gorilla glue right now i don't know nobody that's taking it but a payday will come soon for them cool um 
keep up the brown mama thank you johnny anything is possible but she has really had a complaint thank you the lioness for answering that for me you have such a positive attitude in response to haters <laughs> thank you brina i'm telling you i'll be trying and i'm not even saying that cue ball is hating but you know i mean like i said whatever i think this is a god because i'm like looking on my laptop whatever he feels is cool don't judge me judge your mama that's who you judge don't judge me because i'm gonna do what i need to do for myself and my family at the end of the day so i'm not even saying and maybe he's not hating he think he's really providing knowledge and he may be but you never know until you do it yourself what an outcome is going to be for anything that you take a chance with so that that's all i'm saying but i, I don't want the hood to come out of me brina you know what i mean and I, I said what i said and i mean what i said i stand by what i said and that's it and you know it's either people could like it love it or hate it i'm an acquired taste anyway everybody don't like me which is fine too i'm not for everyone so that's just you know that's how i look at it i'm not for everyone i don't claim to be and i don't have to be you know it's nice to be liked but it's not necessary that's that's the motto that i live by it's nice to be liked but it's not necessary i just looked on your amazon and the trades are called diamond paint and trade organizer thank you jay so y'all that you heard what jay wrote well you saw what jay wrote they are called diamond paint and trade organizers you do what's right for you. Thank you, Kristen. Stay blessed there. I'm going to find the rhinestones ASAP. Miss K, thank you. You do the same thing. Um, yes, just go check out the um the website. I mean the um link in my bio. <laughs> the line is that part. <laughs> Amen, sister. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah, I, like get them out of here. I don't have time for that. And you know, I don't I don't like to get like that. I really don't. Explose, explose, mentor, explose entertainment. Um, I have a moderator. Thank you so much. Got him all the way together, sis. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Shit. What kind of glue do you use? I'm using um, gorilla glue this this time. I'm still here, y'all. I'm just catching up with the comments. I don't like to be rude, even though I have a moderator. I do still like to, you know, interact and stuff. Oh, uh, he's just real, real, uh, real bold. Hmm. Well, let me see something. Let me see something. Hold on, y'all. Because if I got to come up in here, I don't give a damn about muting nobody. Because, you know, like I said, I be trying to be positive. But you know what? I, I work hard to get my followers up and stuff like that but i don't need i don't need the negative um i don't need the negative people up in here blocked yes so y'all he blocked and nobody else don't have to do it because i did it so yeah i'm not dealing with that mom was in the hospital for two weeks especially very ill with that cancer i'm still praying for y'all um and your family and your friend the lioness <laughs> thank you pg um your work is amazing i've seen your content up at night that was the beginning to do that thank you sammy amen brina <laughs> You said it all in a very nice way. Preach. Thank you. I, I like I said, I tried to. Uh, we got another. We got another hating ass person up in here. Chris Ring looks cheap. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris. But you know what? You still on my live. I'm not on yours. You're on my live. You're giving me help with my analytics. So thank you. I, so it looks cheap, but now you're saying it looks good. So you're flip floppy so let's see let me see i'm about to like seriously i'm about to get all the anybody that's coming up in my shit you know i'm getting now i'm cursing they coming up in my shit you getting blocked i don't need i'm not saying you gotta kiss my butt 
or nothing like that but you don't have to um come up in here and um you know be negative or anything like that so he or she has been blocked whoever chris reen was so you don't have to come here thank you you're welcome michelle thank you lioness i just blocked him can you use this on t-shirts yes you can i use um sometimes i use um e6000 but you can use fabric glue too like um the ultimate glue you can use um uh what's the other one gem tack you can use um super tight fusion tack there's a lot of um things you know and i think you should yeah I, because i'm not with the flakiness and the back and forth don't don't say a negative remark and then and i understand a typo but if you say it looks cheap and then you say it looks good cheap and good are not anywhere near uh the same letters so thank you for following his word is the truth his word is true another block that's right thank you thank you all so much no need to be negative if you don't like what she's doing keep it that's what i'm saying black sheep thank you you know I, i'm not that type of person where i'm like i don't try to be negative i try to be positive even share tips and tricks and information all of that and you know i don't have time for the i had time for that so so anyway off of them back on to us what what else do y'all have questions about because i'm not gonna let them uh steal my joy you know i'm i'm up here trying to stay busy so i'm not thinking about like grieving the whole time that you know dealing with my grandmother's passing and stuff and you see the negativity that still come your way even when you positive it, it's just gonna it's gonna find you but you gotta learn to separate them people from the good people and that's why i do appreciate y'all i tell y'all all the time how i'm grateful for y'all y'all the ones who got me where i am today here on tiktok and with my business in in general like whether it's monetary or not whether you have bought something from my website or not i appreciate y'all um it's not always support is not always monetary it, it's um you know sharing the live or, or asking questions and, and and challenging me on what i can make next and you know sharing the live sending likes y'all y'all just don't understand how much i appreciate y'all i really do i mean that wholeheartedly i i really do appreciate y'all i never thought me you know just starting this tiktok listening to my daughter and I, I wasn't serious about it in the beginning i'm like girl nobody's going to take me serious who wants who cares about what i'm making obviously i was completely wrong and i'm humbled by it so i, I do appreciate y'all and i really i really thank y'all that's why i try to show up i try to be transparent and um that's just my personality I, i'm just bubbly i like to have fun smile laugh life is too short y'all life is too short and you know we all know that we say it all the time but are we really taking that into consideration on not focusing on the negative things and the negativity people get from you know give us and stuff like that so it, it is very important and like i apologize to y'all all of the positive people that you know come on my live and stuff for me even entertaining negativity because normally like i said i'm born and raised in newark new jersey so i know how to act hood and ratchet but that's i am not a product of my environment so i try not to be that way but if you push me i'm a leo do you hear me i will i will give it to you so hard that you will never say nothing else to me ever again and I don't like to be that way because, like I said, life is too short. And it's not worth feeding into the negativity and stuff like that. You know? So, let me see what else. Oh, my God. Come on here. We love you. Thank you, Peter Gay. Thank you, the Lioness. Thank you, Black Sheep. Thank y'all for following. Thank y'all. Uh, well, I appreciate, appreciate you sharing. And your nails are beautiful, too. Love the pink and black. Thank you, Jay true word because we love what you do but they don't have no likes on their page <laughs> peter oh <laughs> um, i'm new to the diamond painting wait i lost my spot i'm new to the diamond paint and how and where do you insert the glue on the pen i'll show you in one second um 
feel me feel. I think that's how you say your name. Um. Oh, you a Leo too? Hey, I'm August 16th. When are you, Miss Nice? Okay, fell you fell. So, this is what I do. I'm using um, Gorilla Glue here. I'm going to do some of this right here so I could just... So I put the glue down on my surface, whatever the canvas is I'm doing. Let me get this little extra part off right there. <clears throat> oh, you the 19. Okay, we close. Y'all, my fiance is also a, a, a Leo, but he, I don't think he really count because he a July 31st Leo. I'm like, I'm with the, I'm with the Leos in August. I'll be telling him he a fake Leo. <laughs> And he is, uh, he's the opposite. You know, they have Leos that are passive and they have the Leos that are like really outgoing. And I'm like, I mean, he's outgoing and very artistic and creative, but I'm like outgoing, outspoken. He's very, um, uh, I guess you can say mild mannered. And I think that's why we work because we balance each other. Like, but if you push him, then yeah, he, he had enough, then yeah. But like, he's very patient, calm and stuff like that and i'm like i mean i think i'm patient to a certain extent not not like him though sometimes he'd be too patient to me and i'll just be like oh my gosh how much are you gonna take but you know that's how he is and that's you know one of the things that i love about him so you know that's how he is so that's how i accept him but um yeah i, I call him a fake leo because he's not an august leo <laughs> uh let me see what else y'all saying yeah, so basically, the wax tip is what picks up the rhinestone like that. And I just place the, place, place the rhinestone right where the glue is. And the way I measure what size stone I'm going to use for like the filler. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I measure it by the size of the gap. And that's how I determine what size filler stone I'm going to use. So like for this, for instance, right here. I know that... Uh, um. 20 ss20 will not fit right there that's just not realistic so let me see i'm gonna try and put where are my little stones it's like a specific size i'm looking for because that one is too big i may have to dump some more in here uh, let me dump some more in here so i can see Let me take out my top. I'll keep this top in here so I don't lose it because it's so small. All right, so let's see. Here, I thought I was gonna be finished by a certain time, by um before um two o'clock, but I'm up here yapping and then I let somebody, two people set me off. And I feel bad if the person, the last person that I blocked, I feel bad if that's not what they meant to say, that they look cheap. But like I said, typing the word cheap and typing the word good are kind of far apart from each other. So. so basically, I judge the size of the stone that I'm going to use by the size of the gap. That's very important for you to remember and take with you, no matter what um, type of blinging uh, you're doing on an item. Which is why I always say that... Am I in the frame? Yeah. Which is why I always say... Base, um, I mean... I always try to let y'all know that... It's important to order... Mixed size rhinestones. Which are these. This is multiple different sizes... To fill in gaps. Like, like I said, these are normal size gaps here. But like that one right there... That was not a normal size gap. So it's important that you... No matter what color you're working in... That you get rhinestones, filler rhinestones to fill in those gaps. So here I'm going to add a little small one because I don't want that to be too too big of a gap. So I'll put that in there. But like I said, when you wear them and you're outside and it's shining in the sunlight and stuff like that, you're not even going to um, notice the gaps because the sun is going to sparkle and shine. That you're not even going to notice the... Um, these gaps so i'm gonna add some more glue here anybody ask a question would you call out the sizes of the stones as you use them just a few of them 
Um, let me see. But dang, I'm really see. I'm not too. I gotta use my um my little thing I have because I'm not knowledgeable of the exact size of the stones that I the smaller ones like that because they're very small. So I try my best, but I don't want y'all to quote me on the size. Thank you, Lady K Slay. Thank you, Kimberly, for following. Thank you, Green is the great for um the likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here I'm going to do, I'm going to just do this whole little section here. So I'm like dabbing it, as you can see here. And then I kind of twist it. I wipe it off. So when I put the top back on it, it's nice and, you know, clean. Oh, did I show y'all this? Some new people in here. So this is another thing that I offer on my website. It's just a water bottle blinged out at the bottom and the top is blinged and it has you know monogram k on it you can get whatever um you know your initial is so here i will be using are the nike slots men's sizes or women's sizes on your website um normally they're um i think these are men's yeah men's sizes um yeah so they're men's sizes uh okay so this is this is ss20 that i'm using here that's really the majority of the size that i'm using for the slides unless i have like to fill in something but yes um these are ss20s here Now I can put some stones right there. <clears throat> Let me see if I can push this down a little bit. And then I might not have to use any stone. Yeah, so I don't really have to put anything there. And then I'm gonna go up along the side right here. Make sure that it is nicely stuck right there. So these are all SS20s that you just saw me apply. Now I want to make sure that's nice and, okay, so that's put down nice and sturdy. And here, I'm going to push down a little bit. Because sometimes the glue kind of starts to cure. And I'm going to put it right here. And I think I'm going to put um, two SS16s here. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. On a Nike, um, this, the symbol, um, I would say that this is, let me see. Let me get one out because I got to remember. put it down I would say that this is a SS I would say that I use this is a SS9 that I use for the uh Nike symbol but I did put yeah that's all yeah SS um SS9 you could probably shoot for SS10 or you could even do something smaller like an 8 or a 7. It really it really depends on you. But that's the size that I used. So here I'm going to put... That was a 16 that I just put there. And here I'm going to use... Like I said, these are filler stones. Yes, that is my... um. That's my biggest request. The, that color. Yep. So now... I'm going to put 
me see what size this is. I would say this is an SS7 that I'm using right here. That's an SS7. So now I'm going to add some more glue here. Thank you, all good and for following. You're welcome, black sheep. All right, so I'm going to go around the border again here. This border right here. So I'm going to put some glue right there. And I'm dabbing it like that so I'm just not putting a whole lot. And then I'm going to come across here because I don't want this glue right here to get too cured. So I'm going to add the glue there. Okay. So, so I'm going to start again with my 20s and then go from there whichever size that I need. To fill it in but these are 20s right here now let me see i'm trying to see what i'm gonna put right there since i put that there um i'm gonna put another 20 right here and then i'll just fill it in with one of the you know the um smaller stones maybe i'll do two ss 16s right here or one ss 16 and then i'll use like another am i in the frame yeah another um seven if i could find it that one is a little bit too big um, i'm trying to look for the size that i want this one can that fit yeah that fits but i think this is like more so like a ss6 here that's like a SS6 that I put right there. And then I could put like a little bit bigger, which is about, this is, a, I believe, a 10, SS10 here. Now I'm going to do the 20s all along here before they, before this glue dries all the way up. I don't want to have to add any more on this part. So that's very important. And sometimes you have to move a little bit faster because you don't want to have to add more glue I, I don't like adding more glue from when I first put down that you know that first little bit um Ella you can order symphoniestreasures.com have you been using I have it on right now the lioness yep thank you user uh, 6755 for sharing a lot I'm using Vicky I'm using um Gorilla Glue right now I normally use Gorilla Glue or um, E6000 for my um, footwear. I have been using other glues for my sneaker now, like Liquid Fusion or um, Super Tight Fusion Tack. There's a lot of different glues you can use based on the materials and stuff like that. So just got to be mindful of the material that you're, that you're working with. And then the glue, you know, and, and do a tester, like test it out on a small area and um, go from there. Because it's not easy working with different glues and you have to learn, um, you have to learn that no glue is going to be used for the same, I mean, different um, projects. You use different glues for different projects. So that's important for you to know. All right. I think I'm going to just go across here again. And I'm just dabbing it like this. As you can see, this is a lot thicker than E6000. E6000 is a little bit, I guess you could say a little bit looser than what, it, um, than what this one is. But I love working with both of them. If you are not following me here, please hit the plus button. And for everyone who's already following me and who are regulars, um, I appreciate you like the lioness. Who else is in here? 
that's regulars. I can't see all of y'all, but Peter Gay. Um, who else is up in here? Let me scroll up the ones that I know. It's always Black Sheep. You've been in here before. Uh, Lady K Slay. Thank you. Peachy. Jay, you've been in here before. Greena. So, yeah, thank y'all. Like, all of the ones. Y'all know who y'all are. If I missed out on some names, charge it to my mind, not my heart. But I do appreciate all y'all. But, yeah, if you are not following me here, follow me here on TikTok. Also, check out um, my Instagram page at Symphony's Treasures. If you do have an Instagram, you can um, see all of the items that i have made over time i'm using um this is a ss16 right here i think a 20 can fit right here let's try it out let's see and sometimes the rhinestones are broken i still use them i think um depending on how bad they look i won't use it but some like that i think it adds character it's handmade so i still like to use it for some of the um the items stuff so it's not um you can't tell it doesn't mess it up or anything like that thank you elizabeth for the likes i hope each time you know whether you're a repeat uh visitor or you know supporter or whatever or new I hope each time, you know, anyone comes on my live, they they get to know a little bit more about me personality-wise and work ethic-wise. Uh, it's very important that I have a relationship with my supporters and my uh, people who, you know, purchase from me and stuff like that. It's very important that you um, have a relationship with your, uh, your viewers, your uh, supporters. Your, your clients and customers and stuff like that very very important i learned that early on in business and um so i hope that you know i'm as transparent as i can be without giving away everything about myself but still sharing just enough information I, i'm just like this even if i didn't have a business if i feel like i can trust certain people and stuff like that i share information whether about myself or you know that's just how i've always been and i continue to be that way because i feel like you know i mean that's just how i've been so it's not anything about being fake or phony or anything like that i, I think i'm as down to earth as i can be so um and i think that's why or what attracts people to me because because i'm like that but as y'all saw earlier <laughs> you get on my bad side is a different is a different um christina but that's anybody you know so i just hope that um you know that the stuff that i share personal wise and um business wise you know you really enjoy it and Feel like you're gaining something from it because um like i said when i first started i didn't have help no one told me anything i did research i used youtube to find out a lot of stuff that i, I like to do and stuff like that and if like now there's more bling videos out where people are doing it and stuff but when i first started no one was really doing a lot of youths i was like one person that i kind of followed that did it a lot and she doesn't even really make videos anymore so other than that like i figured out stuff trial and error and if i can be of some assistance where you don't have to make mistakes like how i did then i like to share but you know everyone has their own way of doing things just like it's, excuse me there's more than one way to skin a cat as people like to say it's more than one way to do bling so I'm not saying my way is the only way. I'm not saying it's the, the only right way to do it. I just know how I like to do it and what works for me. 
So if you have an open mind and you, you, you take that with you, then that's the start right there. And if it is something that you're trying to start as far as business, I suggest you start making stuff for yourself first. Practice and you be your own guinea pig. Practice on your own stuff. So if you do make a mistake, it's on your own item. And then you'll be able to uh, hone in up on your uh, skills and be able to start selling it to other people. So that's how I feel like. And I'm only telling y'all this because, like I said, I started out making stuff for myself. I never intended on selling or having a business doing any of this stuff. I just was a single mom. You know, I wasn't even with my um, fiance at the time when I first, first started doing all of this type of stuff. I didn't even know him. So that has been, it's been over three years when I, um, I mean, I've been in business for three years, but it's been over three years since I had started, um, you know, doing my own stuff. I always did my own thing. So it's important that, you know, you start out that way, in my opinion, so you can, you know, practice on your own stuff. Make make the mistakes if you are going to make them. Not on purpose, of course, but then you'll get better and better and better at it. And then you'll be able to offer your services to other people. That That's what, you know, I feel um, works. Um, I would love to see the Nike start done with ABs and the Emblem all pink. I mean, how to order them. I actually did a pair. Um, I don't know if I put them up here or if they're on my, uh, if they're on my um Instagram page. I gotta check. Those were rats. You're helping people, and you are amazing. God bless you. Thank you so much, Peter. I appreciate that. Thank you. I really, really do love your nails. My favorite colors. Oh, thank you, Feli. Can you do some tutorials on YouTube? Kara, I'll be trying, Brina, but I have to use my other phone, which is very, it's old. It works. But um, I want to start because my YouTube, I have two YouTube pages. But one, I separated my other one from, because I started doing my, I had that YouTube page for like, since 2012 or 2011 and once i started my business and making stuff I, I started putting that stuff up there but you know when you have subscribers that are following you for a specific reason and then you start doing different stuff they don't care about your business and stuff like that normally they want to see what you used to do so i had to separate that youtube and start a whole a whole other one so i was like at i think either 1400 followers on that page or something like that it's something in the thousands and it took me so long to grow that page that 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 was my baby oh my goodness and when i had to i learned that i had to separate it just like if you have a business and you have an instagram page and you have a personal page don't post that stuff on your personal page separate that because the people that's already following you on your um your personal page they may not care about your business i learned that the the hard way so you got to start over and it's best to start your new page if you have a business or whatever while it's still while you're just starting out so it can grow along with you but i am going to start doing videos and tutorials and stuff <clears throat> it's just a lot of work because i have to do editing and I don't like to put stuff up just the way I filmed it. I like to fix certain things and stuff like that. Sometimes I do voiceovers. Just like even with my TikTok. I edit some of the stuff that I do. And that that's just that takes more time and stuff like that. So it is something that you know I wanna start back doing. Because it, it is helpful to other people and it also help my, my channel grow. Because I think right now I'm at like four something, 400 and something. But I want to be able to go live on um on my um in my uh YouTube page as well. So I do have to become more uh active with that. So that is something that I plan on working on. Um I do offer the classes, but I like right now I'm just trying to catch up with my orders and stuff right now. 
so um at the moment i'm not offering classes but i do i think what i'm gonna start doing is offering one-on-one -on -one classes instead of like classes full of people because um everyone learns at different at a different pace and it's gonna be a structured class as far as the time because um if there's no time limit you know we'll never get out the class so that is something that i'm thinking about in the near future as well but i just haven't had the time right right at this moment to um offer classes and i was thinking about also doing like pre-recorded classes and then you know you just pay for that specific thing so I, I like i said i have a lot of different things and ideas that i want to work on but i haven't had time really i've just been trying to focus on like <clears throat> my orders and trying to get those out then we had the, the death of my grandma and stuff like that so i'm kind of like working with a lot of stuff i'm getting my daughter acclimated to um she's looking for a job but i'm like um you know just different things just going on so i do plan on doing all of those things it's just gonna take a little bit more time how do i buy slides jb um you go to symphoniestreasures.com you can go live on YouTube. Just set it up through StreamYard. It's free, too. Oh, I got to check that out. Thank you. <clears throat> that sounds good. Something pre-recorded. Yeah, because, you know, Black Sheep, I think it's um, it's less uh, pressure, too. And I guess, like, if there's questions that they can contact me in the comments or something like that, I, I guess. I got to figure it out because I'm just used to putting videos out and doing it like that i'm not really used to that type of i had to get used to being on live here but i think now i, I kind of have it you know a, a gist of how to go live for tiktok and stuff because i do have y'all like y'all repeat supporters and stuff like y'all y'all know my personality y'all kind of get a feel of how i already am as opposed to uh other people on youtube so I hope that makes sense. But the same way I started with this and, and you know, gained a following from y'all, I know I could do the same thing on YouTube. So that's why I always mention my YouTube channel just in case. And I've gotten a lot of, believe it or not, being on TikTok and with y'all support and help and stuff like that, I've gotten a lot of sales. I think majority of my sales besides, like, people <clears throat> referring me word of mouth and stuff like that, I mean, recommending me word of mouth. Y'all, TikTok has been getting me a lot of um, sales and stuff. So, I don't order the Nike slides. Yeah, so you visit symphonystreasures.com. I went to your bio and didn't see it. It's Amazon. Yeah, that's my Amazon storefront. So, you just go to symphonystreasures.com and that's my website. Yeah, I think I, that's what I was talking to my fiance about doing that instead and then it could be like on specific on um, things like how to bling nike slides how to do a mug how to you know different things like that that's a thank you thank you black sheep that's what i was telling people and i'm like i'll be telling them like i'm doing this for free so just support me by following and sharing the live and sending me likes and stuff like that like this is a tutorial right here if you think about it that's what i'll be telling people but you know hey karina yeah jb visit um uh, let me see i'm gonna send you something this is from my other account but i'm gonna put it here so that uh you can uh have it i'm, I'm still here y'all i'm just typing to type in my website and Uh, where did it go? Okay. So, I'm going to put it here, too, in the regular comments. That If you receive something from Christina Morgan, that is me. As you can see, you look at the picture, that's me. This is my other account that I use when I'm doing, like, um, my lives and stuff. So, I can comment from my computer instead of my phone since my phone is propped up. So, anytime you see Christina Morgan, that is me. 
So I put that in the chat. Uh, my website. <clears throat> Let me just look at them. Mm hmm. Yep, Crystal Ninja. I love her. I was on her live and she even shouted me out. I was like, oh my, she's very down to earth. She 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 does. She likes to look at um, videos of other people who do what she does. And she's very, um, you know, supportive and encouraging. She does not like E6000 and stuff, though. She don't, she doesn't use those glues. But I do, I buy stuff from her. Um, I like her a lot. She, she's the first person I, I bought, um, I bought the Crystal Katana tool when I first started blinging. I was like, no, I want that tool. So I got it. Now I'm like a repeat customer of hers with certain things. <clears throat> but, um, she's very, um, down to earth and very inspirational and supportive. So she is one of the people that, you know, I have um, looked up to to keep going and doing what I love to do. So she even she comments on stuff that I do. And she she was saying um, on a live when I was in there, she was like, I love the stuff that you make, Symphony's Treasure. And I was like, oh, wow. And you know, it, it feels good to be recognized. So I appreciate it even when y'all do it and say certain things. And I'm just like wowed by it because like I said, I just never, and that's why it's good to think big. Never think small about yourself. I just never saw myself having like a following, nothing. I never did. It was just like, if I'm doing this, I'm putting it out. You know, whoever see it, they see it. And then I go on about my business, but I like to put stuff into my, uh, I like to put my personality into my, um, videos and stuff like that. Like, <clears throat> if you, if you're new here, I do Dollar Tree videos and stuff like that. When I first started, my Dollar Trees is what really helped my, um, TikTok grow because I was telling people what they can get inexpensively from Dollar Tree that I use or good if you have a, a small business or if you're a crafter or whatever. So the, my little little catchphrase that I use and I still use to this day and nobody can say they started it because I know I started it because I'm silly like that and bubbly. At the end of my videos, I always say, happy shopping. And everybody, when people see me, they be like, happy shopping. I'll be looking forward to you saying happy shopping at the end. And I'm like, wow. That was just me just being silly and goofy. And now it's a thing that I have people comment at the end of my video, happy shopping in my voice. So just be yourself, be your true self. I don't like to copy. I like to be authentic. Trust me, it gets you very far. People respect, respect that. So, y'all hear me saying that happy shopping. Drop me a happy shopping <laughs> in the comment section. It put the little laughing out loud face because that's what people do to me all the time. But um, yeah, don't think, don't think small of yourself. Always think big of yourself, and know that uh, whatever you want to achieve, you you can do it because the sky is the limit, and. I'm trying to I'm trying to go past the sky, you know? I'm trying to go past the sky. So just keep that in mind. If you want to start something, whether it's a business or whatever it is you want to do, start it. Just do it. Life is too short. You only live once. As long as you are not hurting or harming anybody, take a chance with yourself. We take so many chances on others, people, relationships, and stuff like that. So take a chance. And, and take a chance on yourself you know how they what they say always bet on blue no always bet on you how about that and see y'all see i'll be saying stuff that i just think of from the from just right just right from the, the tip of my tongue at that moment always bet on blue no always bet on you i'm gonna I'm a do a post about that because you know what another thing that i started doing is um you know, I would make 
you know specific items for myself before i make it and i post it for other people because you know who wants to buy from an artist or you know who wants to buy from an artist that doesn't wear their own stuff so that's why you see me in my videos i wear the nike slides i wear my bling hoodie <clears throat> i wear um earrings that i have blinged out i wear uh my bling string even though i didn't hand make that i wear the bling pocketbook even though i didn't make that who if you're not wearing your own stuff my laptop case i did if you're not wearing your own stuff why do you expect other people to wear your stuff be your own walking billboard it's very it's very important that you know you wear your own stuff do you know how many times people stop me about something that i'm wearing that i made and they have no idea that i made it until i say they're like i like you such and such and i'm like oh thank you so much i made it here's a card or check out my instagram page blah 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 and they get to see all of the other um things that i make i used to be so shy to talk about i'm not a shy person i'm shy in certain situ situations i know y'all could tell now i don't want to put this one here because i kind of like forced it so let me move that up a little bit move this up okay so i know y'all could tell that i'm not shy um but i used to be shy to talk about my business and that's not because i was ashamed of it it was only because i'm like nobody cares about my business like no who cares you know you ever met somebody and that's all they want to talk about is i did this and i did and i don't like to make things about myself like that where it's kind of like egotistical i don't like that so i never wanted to my fiance is the one yeah you gotta check out my fiance uh she do this she did and i used to be like stop stop but you know no that was him supporting me but it was kind of like i felt like he was bothering people by saying that so i'm like no don't do that you putting me on the spot i'm shy to talk about it blah 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 I really appreciate him though because he he supports me and you need that you ever you know hear of people have businesses and their um their spouse is jealous or you know they don't like the attention that they get because they're not getting the attention and stuff like that and I'm like I'm so glad that I don't have to worry and deal with that because he's always been supportive of me even in the very when I first met him and I met him I was doing a vending event. He came, he saw me on live. He saw me on live and he came through to the event uh, that I was at, purchased some jewelry and stuff from me. Cause at the time I told y'all that's, that's basically what I was making beaded bracelets, earrings, stuff like that. He bought that from me. He shared it, said how nice my um, items and stuff. And we went from there. I wasn't even expecting to be in a relationship with anybody. I was fine being single and dating, focusing on my, my child. I was, I was not, like, interested in being with anybody at the moment because I was, like, kind of... I'm trying to see. Is this one down enough? I was just really focused on, like, the things that I had to do and things that was important. But he came at the right time, and I wasn't looking for him. So that's how I knew it was genuine. But, um yeah it's just about you know just be being yourself and putting yourself out there oh i'm finished y'all and that's that's just that's just all that you have to worry about and the rest is going to um rest is going to come it's going to happen i always encourage people to like start that business you have a talent make a profit off of it and i'm not saying just do it for the money do it if you have a passion for it i have a passion for this I like doing this better than my job. So, but my job got to pay the bills. So, yeah. Let me, okay, let me scroll back, y'all. I know I'm just talking tonight. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm new here. Hey, user 6755. I'm asking her about the style of slides. What is the difference in the style of Vanassi and Kawa? So, JB, the difference is the Kawa ones is this the one that just has that uh can you see that that nike check these are sometimes out of stock and i can't find them not on nike.com um peter gay just told gave me a little help with that but 
based on the sizes and stuff it may not be available so i'm offering the banassi the banassi ones are the ones that have the word nike and the nike check but i'm offering them both at the same price and the only difference is like i said the word nike on the banassi and the check so i will be doing it the same exact way but the nike it would be a word nike that will be blinged out too so whatever color you get the nike check blinged out nike the word will be blinged the same color so that's the only difference is the style it's just a different style so it doesn't have the ridges here these little ridges the foot part is different i have a picture up on the website but i'm still offering them matter of fact i have a pair a blank pair if you allow me a minute i'm gonna go get it but that's the only only difference between those two black sheep oh my god that's you what's me black sheep <laughs> yeah and i need to i need them to make you an affiliate for dollar tree they i tried several times they will not do it you should bling your roller skates brand i love my roller skates so much the way they are because i don't want to i got those roller skates they are iridescent and when i found out because you know those skates were sold out like skates period was sold out during the pandemic and once my fiance is the one that bought them for me i was talking about them because he's a, he's a skates he knows how to skate very well he used to be a trainer and stuff like that so that's why he's teaching me but i'm just too scary scared of falling and stuff but i don't i love my skates just the way they are but i do want to bling some skates just not mine um thank you jay you like my watch thank you thank you helene for sharing the live hey hey joseph thank you the lion if you just said what i said yeah hey joseph that's how love comes to you you are so right peter that's the truth uh so satisfying thank you you from the shop that's how you feel about nursing yes thank you 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 are one of the, you have a great heart because you put yourself on the front line to help other people in lioness and i appreciate you for that any anybody that's in the medical field definitely get some love from me yep black sheep happy shopping yep that's me <laughs> yep <laughs> give me one second y'all i'm gonna um get the other um the other pair of the nike slides so i can show y'all the, the uh difference stuff around in my house I'm trying to keep it organized for the I know I um what the heck did I do with them give me one second y'all I don't know if I put them over here mm -mm -mm. you know how you just saw something then you move it Just move them. Here they are. Oh, wait. Let me get the other one so y'all can see the, the blank one. Y'all still here? Let me get the other one so y'all can see the blank one. I 
All right, so um, I forgot who was asking that question, but so let me move this one. Let that dry to the side. Move these out the way a little something, something. And so put those blue there. So these are these are the regular. Let me turn it this way. This is another pair I was working on. So, so this is the Kawa here, right? That's the one that is just you know the white Nike sign with the uh, black. And these are the Benassi. So that's what the that's the difference. So I'm gonna put put them side by side. I like to keep my little surface area as clean as possible, y'all. So this is um this is the difference. So this is the Benassi. As you can see, it has the word Nike, the the um, Nike check, and look at the foot part. So that's the that's the only difference really. And this is kind of this is leather as opposed to whatever this material is. This is the Kawa. This is what I always use, but like I said, sometimes I just can't find them. So I like to provide a second option. It will still be blinged out the same way. If you get this done in pink, the Nike will also be done in pink and whatever color you want this. It's just, that's that's the difference. See, this one has the ridges like this. This one has like the, the dots. This one has Nike and the check. This one only has the Nike sign. So I hope that um helped. Let me see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you shopping? So I hope that helped. Um, that's the difference. It's going to be the same price. Like if that's why I put it up there. I know I put it as a variation, but I put it as a variation so that if I can't find this one, I'm going to contact you back. And like if I can't find this one in your size, I'm gonna contact you back and ask if you would accept this as an alternative. But same price because like these, they have these in stock all the time, so that's the difference. And this was a pair that I was um working on, another pair. See, this is, and I I left this last. Look, it even looks cute like that, but I left it like that and um yeah so Th those are the difference between the two um a lot of people use that one as opposed to the one that you saw me using um doing tonight so basically this is what the, sh the finished product looks like so it looks like this i'm trying to see which way i need to have it the one with the tag is the one I just finished. So that's what it looks like. Okay. I'm trying to see if I'm going to just work on something else tonight. Or well, what? I do. I should show y'all the mugs that I made with my Cricut mug press. I showed that before but I'm trying to see I wanted to show y'all this is what I'm going to be working on next well not next but eventually because I got to get this out too so this is a ombre laptop case that I'm going to be doing so she wanted dark green light green and I sprayed the silver but it's going to be clear stones so this is what i'm going to be working on next not next but one of the projects that i'll be working on in the um future so yeah but like i said these and you know, if y'all visit like my previous posts on my own um, tiktok y'all will see um y'all will see how they sparkle and shine in the um even at nighttime they do 
But y'all will see how they um, sparkle and shine in the natural sunlight. Y'all won't even notice these gaps. I'm trying to see what else I need to see. I have a couple pens that I need to work on. I have another one of these bottles that I need to work on. But I don't really feel like doing the bottle tonight. I'm trying to see what else, if anything. Because it's 2.45. I, I am off the rest of this week. I, I took off this whole week because I am going to be, you know, grieving and stuff like that. So I didn't want to be having to focus on work while doing that so i'll be trying to fulfill orders as um much as i can during the process but i'm trying to see see and then i have another pair of the sneakers to do with the pearls like this this is the pearls that i use for um you know i could even put the pearls on on these I, it's up to you basically but these are um chinko craft 3000 pieces and they are mixed sizes I also have these up there on that um those are up there as well on my um Amazon storefront I ordered these see I have mixed sizes here this is for the laptop case these are glass rhinestones as well Amazon I got a couple packs of these and I bought some um see these are 20s in glass so this is for the light green part. I tried to match it up as close as possible. And I think I did pretty good with my spray paint and um, the rhinestones. Then I got, uh, I got like some green ones here. Like the green ones. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's like a dark green emerald that... You know that goes as well then you know just the regular um clear rhinestones are gonna go there so that's gonna be a fun part i've never done ombre but i know that it's something that i can achieve because um it, it's not i don't think it's difficult at all but yeah so that's that's one thing that i will be working on i want to show y'all some of the stuff that i got for my um my cricket mug press some of the uh other stuff let me see love the case thank you so we should buy mixed bag in 20s i put those green in my cart yep mm -hmm. it's always good to buy mixed in whatever color rhinestone that you're using and these are some of the things that i either ordered from amazon or michael's um this is the infusible i don't know can y'all see this because i got it flipped and why isn't this showing up here okay there it is you want a cricket so bad yes get it um it was difficult with me first learning how to do it um because my fiance has a, a cameo silhouette so i was kind of getting accustomed to the way you use his i don't know what his thing is called not design space you know cricket used design space to create the stuff i forgot what his is called so i was getting acclimated to using his and then i got this cricket and i'm like can you help me can you? he's like i don't know anything about cricket and he and so i'm like i'm thinking it's all the same but it's really not they use kind of like different language as opposed to silhouette but once you you know youtube helped me out tremendously and I love Cricut products just like I love Apple products, but I don't buy Cricut's um, vinyl at all. I do not buy Cricut vinyl. I get vinyl from Amazon or I think like Craft Source, different places like that. But this here is my Cricut infusible ink transfer sheets, which is how I make the mugs. And so um, the long ones, I do the mugs that are 12 ounces. So... I bought a couple of these and these are the prints that it comes in so you know i'm a colorful person personality wise all that so i love animal print these are animal print so i think it comes with one sheet of each print so it's four sheets in here so i get one of each and this one is i love this one here this one this one is like a galactic type this one here is like mermaidy type 
and this one is like butterflies and stuff like that so you know i'm gonna come up with some things and i don't think i'm gonna do custom mugs for these i think i'm gonna just make them put them up and sell them that way because sometimes doing custom everything can be very tedious and it can be a lot y'all i'm telling y'all it really can get to be a lot so i don't always want to do everything that i offer custom i just ordered a cricket i hope you like it and don't give up don't get frustrated because it's bound to happen but trust me it's worth it you will make your money back but i'll when I first got my cricket, I got it in November during the pandemic, November 2020. And I was like, let me get it from Home Shopping Network. And I did the flex pay. So I'm telling y'all, just like I tell y'all, I offer Sezzle on my website. I also use flex pay on Home Shopping Network or whatever theirs is called. Because I know Home Shopping Network got it. And so does um QVC. Whatever Home Shopping Network is that's what i use flex pay whatever but i paid the bulk of it and then i think i had like one more payment because sometimes you either just don't want to pay out right or you don't have it to pay out right not understand so just make sure it's something that you really want to invest in and when you do don't give up when you get frustrated because you don't know how to do something i was you know figuring things out myself playing around with it as well as watching youtube videos so it's a lot of videos out there you can follow mr crafty pants you can follow um what's that lady name she is phenomenal i cannot think of her name right now though Ugh, i can't think of her name i was thinking let me see i was thinking that it would be hard to learn to use it, it's challenging but you know they teach you how to start out with a little simple project and then you just learn from there that's all it can be difficult i have been using cricket for almost 15 years back when they had the cartridges oh wow yes oh so you you were a pro at it honey true word can that paper be used for other projects yes people use this for other stuff as well i've seen them use it for like shirts uh different stuff I can't really speak much on it. I know I just purchased it for the mugs right now. Um, but I have seen other people use it for other stuff. Oh, let me see what else. Thank you, Ella, for sharing a live. It's been around that long. Mm -hmm. I have Curio Silhouette. Oh, wow. I haven't heard of Curio. What's the difference what, between uh well if you talk about the cricket like cricket maker does a little bit more it's faster does little extra things that um because i have the cricket explore air too so that one um it's just like apple how they do you know they bring out this phone and then the next one's supposed to be new and improved and do a little bit more so it's the same thing with cricket i i told y'all i was not gonna auntie tay yes auntie tay and then it's another one. Oh, I, I like her. She, she's phenomenal. But the other lady I'm talking about, she's a white woman, heavy set. Oh, I cannot think of this lady's name. Let me see if I can find her up on my um YouTube. Let me see. Let me go to my home and see if she's going to pop up. I love Auntie Tess. She's she's great. Okay, her name is um Jennifer Maker. Jennifer Maker. Yeah, so they got the yeah that new cricket. I'm just like I'm not doing all of that. I'm not I'm not gonna keep on buying buying buying. Yeah, Jennifer Maker. Yep. May made it. I never heard of her. Does she have a does she have a daughter and a son and dogs? I I'm not sure. Let me see something. Oh. Let me check out that person, Jay. I'm gonna I'm gonna see it because I ain't never heard of her before. May made it. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Oh, let me see. That. Oh, May made it, May May made it crass. 
Oh, okay. I just follow. I just subscribe to her. Thank you, Jay. I'm gonna check her out. So yeah, these are the prints. Let me go get the mugs. I want to show y'all how they came out. So far, these are the only two styles that I have made since I had it. So let me take it out the. <laughs> y'all are funny. What time is it where y'all are? It's two fifty-six here. I'm surprised y'all still on here. I don't have to get up in the morning tomorrow, so I'm I'm okay. Okay, so this is, um, no, actually, I want to show y'all the very, very first one. I posted it on TikTok. I was so proud of myself because, not to toot my own horn, but toot toot, because I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing with these mugs. I hope I'm doing it right, blah, blah, blah. So this is the first one that I made when I first got it. Are you in Texas? 156 in Texas? Oh wow, it's 2.57 here. 11.58, Brina. Oh my. 8 a.m. in England. You're in England, Miss Nice? Oh, you're in Cali. That's right, Brina. That's right. Dang, I wish I wish Ty could go back a little bit over here. So this is the first mug that I made. I was thinking like, you know, Father's Day is coming up. So I just used the um thing right from uh uh cricket i had cricket access so i just used a template i did not change anything this is the um uh one i chose the uh paper what you call it the transfer sheet was this it's like kind of like splattered paint i thought it was perfect for like father's day uh so i got the little kid the dad the word dad and like i just was so shocked at how well it came out and the good thing about this y'all it is made it's sublimated into the glass so this is dishwasher safe um micro still microwavable this can go in the microwave as opposed to the mugs that i hand make and i put the rhinestones and stuff on it those mugs are dishwasher safe and uh microwavable until i put the rhinestones and stuff on it which makes it not so you don't wash it in the um you hand wash it and you don't put it in the microwave because the stones have the metal backing on and stuff like that so that's why i send care instructions but these it's just it feels just like glass these are sublimated into the the glass i love it i love it i love it you can customize it too so if i wanted to add something different to this i would be able to go in there and customize it so you don't have to keep it like this but for the first thing, I just wanted to try a little simple project, make sure I was doing it right, get it, ma you know, master it. Of course, you wrap the paper. I, I have like little tutorials up there on my TikTok on how I did it. It's kind of like quick though. Um, I'm able to record longer videos now, thanks to y'all for me having um, the following that I have and interaction with my analytics and stuff like that. So I appreciate that. So I do plan on putting up longer videos um, with more content. But, um, yes, this is dishwasher safe, microwavable safe. Um, and you use the tape you use, it has to be heat, um, resistant tape. So the tape that you see me using, um, is heat resistant tape. So when, cause that, um, heat press gets really, really hot and you cannot use just regular tape. Like when I ordered those, um, the the things i just showed y'all the transfer sheets it um it came with one of these so this is um heat resistant tape but this is cricket brand i didn't buy this it, i mean I, I basically did buy it it came with one of the things i ordered but this is not something i went looking for because i already had it but it's not cricket brand um 
I get it from off of Amazon. You can get different sizes and stuff like that. The one I normally use is like a brownish color, but they have several different types. But um, this one came with one of the transfer sheets that I ordered. So I'm going to definitely try this out. But I will probably not be purchasing it because this is just a Cricut brand. So that's that. But um, Oh, you just did, Jay? <laughs> okay it looks great for your first time thank you thank you thank y'all so much you have to hand wash for the permanent vinyl too yes hand wash for the yep because that vinyl you don't want that vinyl to melt either so thank you for um bringing that up yep but like like i said this is all sublimated into the mug so the this feels just like the regular glass as if you bought like a mug from a store that's already de designed and stuff it feels just like the glass it's no indentation no nothing um can you make various mug size with that mug press yeah they they do um this is 12 and then they have 15 but i saw on youtube somebody did a a, a sublimated tumbler and you know that's like really tall like it goes from like here to here and she did one side and then she flipped the other side once you know that was done sublimating so people find ways around how to do things and i, I that's what i do like but i i'm glad that i bought that um that machine i went through hell with that machine i ordered it originally originally from um uh walmart back on may 2nd i was supposed to get it the next day did not get it the next day got a thing saying oh it's shipped out three weeks went by i was just trying to be patient because i know like they might not have fully been in stock still and stuff then i checked the tracking is delayed i'm like okay how long is it going to be delayed for because it's been saying delayed and they had the date like shipped out on this date delayed whatever I called Walmart, they checked into it, and they're out of stock. I said, I never received anything saying that they're out of stock. It just says delayed. So he gave me back my money. I went ahead that same day, ordered it from um, Amazon, got it in two days. And that's where I was originally going to order it from once I went to Michael's to purchase it, and they were sold out everywhere. And I'm thinking, I'm like late buying it, so nobody's really buying it anymore. But they were sold out everywhere. Even at Hobby Lobby. So I should have just followed my first mile and ordered it right from Amazon because I waited almost a whole month. I just got it like maybe a week and a half ago, I think. Whenever I posted that video was the day I got it. <clears throat> so I had already had the, the mugs. So I had stuff just sitting there waiting to be made, but I needed the machine. So this is the other one that I did. It basically, it says I run on sunshine and coffee. This is the mermaid, rainbow mermaid, and I love this one. I think it is such a cute print. Look at that. So pretty. I run on sunshine and coffee. And it was it was fun to make. I I just I was very pleased with the outcome. And it just makes me want to like make them, make them, make them. But you know how are the dollar tree vinyls working for you um i like the dollar the, they're okay they're not bad especially to say for a dollar they are not bad excuse me but what i will say is the transfer tape the transfer tape is really good except when you're using like a mirror or a foil vinyl it leaves that sticky residue on it so be mindful of that but for the regular the regular vinyl um it works like a charm so i am torn between buying the mug press or another press that auntie tay was showing on her channel yeah i don't know um a lot of people have other mug presses and stuff like that but what i do like about that mug press is once it's heated it beeps it lets you know when it's ready i'm sure the other ones do that too um another thing is um uh once it's done it's, it's five lights that it has so basically you put it in there you set it and you forget it that's that's all i like to say set it and forget it 
until it beeps. Once it gets to that fifth light, it's gonna beep. You lift up that lever, take it out, make sure you grab it by the handle. That that stuff has that glass very, very hot. Very hot. So don't touch it. Let it cool off for a little bit until it's you know, you're able to touch it. And then you can peel off your um your little layer and it should be fine. But I like to tape all the way around just to make sure that you know it's getting from the top to the bottom and even in that middle part the uh where the handle is <laughs> ronco rotisserie oven set it and forget it <laughs> yes so i definitely definitely do recommend if you are into like crafting and making mugs and stuff like that that you buy the cricut press if you were thinking about it now i'm not saying you gotta get the cricut because you know two weeks on but I, I i love it i love it and i only made two mugs so far but i'm ready to like make more i just be after i made that one i'm like let me make another one let me make another but then i saw all these other ones and i was like no and michael's had a sale where you buy one you get the other 50 off so this was i think 11.99 so you got 50 percent off of another one so that's why i bought the large one because i started off with the small one and i think that's for the cricket joy well, you, you can use it for whatever, but, you know, the Cricut Joy is a smaller little machine. Um, so, uh, I got that, and I got the longer ones because I feel like I can probably get two um, mugs done with each sheet of um, transfer. I don't know yet because I've never used the long ones. These are the 12-inch um, ones, 12 by 12. So, I'm figuring I can get two out of each sheet with the you know each um sheet that they provided <clears throat> but we'll see i'm gonna be working on that stuff like that so i like the bag you did with the girls did you print that out or was it an iron on thank you jay that was an iron on from um michael's as well um when i first walked into the store a couple weeks ago i saw that they had you know a little section that was stuff on sale whatever and that was on sale like i think i paid like a dollar for it or you know because they're trying to get new inventory in and take out the old inventory so yeah so but it's a cold pill is what i realized so thank you jb for the likes i'm trying to see what else um yeah, I'm just really, like, really proud of those mugs, though, because, um, and then this one, I just thought this one was, like, so pretty and vibrant. Like, that's nice. I love that. So, that's, that's basically what, um, I'm working on. And I went to Michael's the other day because I had a last-minute project. That I, I, you know, normally I don't get vinyl at all from um, Michaels. But they had a, a sale if you buy, you know, this is Sizer. I think, you, I think that's how you say it. Sizer, Scissor, Sizer. I call it Sizer. But they had a, um, a sale on Sizer vinyl, heat transfer vinyl. Um, if you buy five or more, you get it for $9.99 this one roll and this is 11 and 11.8 inches by 36 inches which is not that much this is how much is on the roll if you can see that i mean it's enough but you, i feel like you can get a better deal from amazon or whatever but I, I don't know i don't do a lot of stuff with vinyl unless it's like a cup or a, a, a what do you call it um laptop case stuff like that but my fiance makes t-shirts and stuff like that so he he knows a lot about the vinyls and stuff like that but um one of these at michael's i read the sign wrong when i went yesterday i'm thinking it said 9.99 that's it i get up to the cash register these people trying to charge me 22.99 for this i said uh what happened to the sale i thought it was 9.99 they went and checked and it was like oh no it's if you buy five or more i didn't feel like getting out the line and doing all of that so i just was like whatever i had two i only needed two rolls i bought it almost spent 
fifty dollars for two rolls. And I thought about it before I left the store. I'm like, uh-uh, this ain't sitting right with me in my heart. <laughs> I went back in there. I went and got three more so that I can get them each for ten dollars. If I'ma spend fifty dollars, I'ma spend fifty dollars for ten dollars each instead of two for fifty dollars. So we did the, the the um exchange and all of that and I felt better and it learned i learned to like read the sign completely because i was kind of in a rush so we we got the five for 9.99 each so i think that sale is still going on so y'all could um y'all can check that out if y'all are into making stuff with vinyl or anything like that they had a lot of colors and stuff with um sizer so and they also had um what's the other brand oracle a lot of people love oracle um vinyl that was 9.99 for one on sale so you didn't have to buy five or more so go to michael's and check that out or order it online while the sale lasts and um you know uh you should be you did a great job thank you jay <laughs> vinyl has good deals but i usually get my hcb from emily i agree I would have put it back. <laughs> I couldn't put it back though because I needed, I needed um red glitter for um. I was doing a, um, uh, three shirts for a, a, a very close um friend of the family, and I told him that I would do it. So I'm like, and he needed it by like, he needs it by tomorrow, so it's done. But um, I, I couldn't say no to him because he's helped my family out so much. That I was just like, I'm going to just get it or whatever. And, you know, see, you do stuff like that for certain people. Now, you don't go out your way for people that won't help you with stuff. So, I just wanted to make it happen because um, his daughter was graduating college. And I guess he thought about it at the last minute. But I was very um, pleased that he came to me to, um, you know, make the creation happen or whatever. So, I, I had to do it. <clears throat> but yeah so that's that's basically it y'all um do y'all have any more questions um for me i have so many projects that i'm working on y'all i hear you just got 50 yards of black oracle vinyl for 20 dollars from amazon yeah I, amazon i'm telling y'all amazon is the way to go amazon is the way to go even for the um mats the cricket mat not the cricket mats but the the mats for your vinyl cutting and stuff like that you don't have to get the Cricut mats. And if you want to reuse your mat, clean it. They said baby wipes are really good to um, clean your mats with. And it, it gets the stickiness back and stuff like that. So you don't have to buy stuff from Cricut. They, they're they very expensive. So I just want to let y'all know that. I did not know anything about vinyl when our Tuesday morning was going out of business. It was cheap. Oh, I didn't know that they sold vinyl there either. Because the, the Tuesday morning up here by me was going out of business. I sure enough would have looked. Nope, $10 for three of them on Amazon. Yep. Absolutely. So, always do your research. Uh, you know, always do your research before you just buy because it's a brand. You know? So, like I said, even with me. I may not be everybody's cup of tea, but one thing that no one would ever be able to say about me is that, oh, she don't, I used to show my face a whole lot up here. And the only reason why I stopped is because the, the position that I have my phone, like it's hands free. So it's, it's up on my little clamp thing. So you can't see my face if I'm, you know, I used to turn it the other way and, and try to prop it where y'all could see me working and see my face. But y'all know what I look like. You see me in my videos. It's not like I'm hiding or anything like that. I just want y'all to see exactly what I'm working on so I could be like, see see this right here? This is why I do this and blah, blah, blah. Demonstration. So, before, before, what y'all won't be able to say about me is she is not honest. She don't keep it real. Um, you know, I don't have a presence up here. Y'all see, I'm, I'm up here all the time. Look how long I've been up here for. I think I got on at 11 o'clock. It's 3.15 in the morning. So... You know, it's, it's good to do your research and stuff <clears throat> before you just order from a popular brand because it's popular. Why is it popular? Why do people like it as opposed to them not liking it? Why is it better than this? Uh, do your research. 
but i go to amazon for a lot of stuff that's why i put the um <clears throat> some of the links that i you know shot with even my um label writer i i send a lot of my stuff from um like that i ship out to y'all all my orders are are shipped from um me at home i'm doing it on my label writer i use pirate shipping it's a discounted um uh shipping service that uses usps <clears throat> and i have a a shipping scale so when when y'all receiving your orders and stuff i'm doing all of that shipping and stuff processing it right from my home and then i either schedule um my, my mail carrier to pick it up from me which is what i was doing in the beginning but i just now i just take it to the post office because i don't live far from the post office and i put it right in the drop box i don't have to wait in the line or anything like that so that's that's another thing you can do invest in a um label writer um printer it never runs out of ink or anything like that because it's it's you know people get rollo they have several different brands but i have um a label writer 350 by um dymo d-y-m-o the blade to amazon is the best place to get them uh-huh from for the crickets yep so it's just very important to do research look around and stuff like that yeah before you just outright like oh i'm gonna get this and you know so my fiance he he does who he does and it it annoys me because like i told y'all i'm a, i'm an apple person so i like um i like my stuff from apple i have a mac desktop um laptop from all of that apple tv and it is, is is nothing about thinking you're better than anybody i just like what i like and that's why i work hard so i can get what i like whether he buy it for me or I buy it for myself um but i just like apple it, it's seamless now i had android it's nothing wrong with androids it's just something that i choose to get apple and what he likes to do because i remember he bought my laptop for me uh one not last christmas the christmas before last and he's doing all this research i didn't even know he was getting it It was a surprise he's doing all this anytime i tell him i like something i want something even if i know the product he has to do his own research and it drives me crazy i'm like are you going to get it for me or not if not i'm gonna get it for myself he's like i didn't say i was gonna get it i just like to do research but he's like that with himself he's like that with everybody and i'm just like it is so annoying like just get it just get it for me but he got to do research so i'm telling y'all to do y'all research before y'all just invest in certain things and stuff like before i bought the the uh cricket mug press i was like man cricket ain't getting no more of my money i'm not buying that i do my own mugs blah 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 and i started watching videos and saw all the different things you can do and i was like oh i think i'm gonna get there i talked to him about it he was like i think you should and I'm like, yeah, I got to keep investing in myself. You are going to make that money back if you purchase anything that you're going to use. You're going to make it back. So um, I've, I've wasted $200 on worse things. So, yeah, it all works together. That's why I like Apple. Yeah, me too. I, I like it too, just for that reason, Jeff. I have an Android. And my, my fiance has an Android too. I'll be making fun of him, but then he makes fun of me uh with the cricket since he has silhouette he because you know a lot of people complain like design space is down or is it just mine and he's like see i don't have that problem with silhouette cameo i'm like whatever but i i did like um i did like the uh silhouette i mean the cameo i mean i did like the cricket for aesthetics initially i, I just think it looks nice i like the way it opens it's just nice and sleek like i i loved it but you know yeah he, he looking out for me he he is very sweet and very patient um but it can it can get on my nerves sometimes i just be like Ugh. but then he's so indecisive you know how sometimes men can just be so indecisive i could talk about him right now because he at work but <laughs> but he has the soul of a, a like he he's just so sweet and patient but um yeah my late husband was the same way it had to research everything oh well oh my goodness i'm sorry about your husband but yeah i know it, it's coming from a good space you know good spot so 
I just said I wanted a MacBook since I'm returning to school. Yeah, I, I just got my daughter one. Well, actually, she paid for half of it. My daughter is, um, she's in the medical field in high school taking honors classes, physics and stuff like that. I, I'm like, I never took physics in ninth grade. And she is on a 4.0 GPA, y'all. I, I mean, this is time for me to brag about my daughter because I, I love her to death. She's my only child right now. And, you know, it's not easy being a single parent. My fiance is not her father. Um, so I've been a single parent uh, basically since she was two. She has a relationship with her, her dad, of course, but I'm a single mom. That's, that's just what I'm going to leave it as. But for her to, you know still be so focused and grounded on school even though she's a teenager has a social life and stuff like that and for her to still have a 4.0 gpa like i'm like no i'm gonna get because she had an hp and she had it for a while so it was kind of slowing down but you know the school gives them the computers to use for the remote and stuff like that but she had her own computer and i'm like she told me a couple weeks ago i'm gonna save up my money to buy my own macbook i want a macbook like you have because i like yours and blah 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 and i have a desktop mac desktop too so i was like oh okay and she didn't know that i planned on getting her one later on this year anyway just because i'm so proud of her and stuff like that but she was you know she was like i want to i want to pay for it myself i was like okay well i'll go have i didn't tell her this i just took her to the mall one day we went to the apple store and we walking in the line and she's like what are we doing here so the guy walked up to me like, what are you here for today, ma'am? So I'm like, oh, I want to purchase a MacBook um, laptop. And her face lit up. She is not easily excitable. She's very nonchalant and like laid back, just like her father. Um, me, I'm excited. Like, oh, you got me what? Yay! She's just like, thank you. But you know, she, she means it. But she's just not easily excitable. So... But when her face lit up, I'm like, okay, she she's very happy. But I did that because I'm like, okay, you want to pay for half of it? I'll, I'll put the other half. And I'm very proud of her. I love to reward my daughter for doing well in school. Although, you're supposed to do well in school regardless. But she is very focused and dedicated. And she knows how important an education is and stuff like that. She wants to be a doctor. So, if she keeps on, you know, this road she's going down, she will be a doctor. And then I'll be able to get her back like, oh, I want a Range Rover. Oh, I want this. Oh, I want... <laughs> I said, just hand me over your credit card, girl. But she's a really good girl. And um, I just like to show her that I'm proud of her in other ways. Um, besides me just telling her all the time. So, yeah. I, I recommend you get one, Lioness. You're, you're going to love it. I work in IT and build computers. And I still prefer Apple. Wow, Jay. That's exciting. Oh, he passed last year? I'm so sorry to hear that. That's good. So to keep up the great work. Thank you, JD. And especially during the pandemic, she was thinking high school was going to be totally different for her. Like, oh, I'm going to meet friends. And no. And she's doing for now. I'm just so proud of her. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Thank you, Linus. Oh, you have a two. Oh, yeah. I think I saw the baby. I think you put the baby up on um your Instagram, right? two years old yeah i want another one y'all but i don't know my daughter 15 and i'll be starting all over so i'm not he doesn't have any kids at all my fiance so um you know i don't know i don't know how that's gonna if it happens it happens yes the baby is adorable peter i do miss that baby stage though i really do i love when my daughter was a, I, oh my goodness that was all i would talk i missed her so much at that age she was a really easy baby too easy baby <laughs> i don't know about that and see i don't know i don't know about that because i'm i'm gonna tell y'all my age because i'm not ashamed in this august i'll be 37 my cut off for another child because i had my daughter i was 21 when i had her so she's 15 now. I'm 36. I will be 37 in August. And my cutoff for another child was 30. You know, they, they consider you high risk after that 35. So I don't know about that. Um, if it happens, it happens. 
that's just I don't know. I, I'll be starting all over, and I kind of like at twenty one. You still young, you know. I was a mom. I, I went straight to work. I mean, I did college at night and stuff like that. So now I feel like you know now I'm getting back a little more free time because she's older and a little more self sufficient. That you know, then having another baby, that's you know, I I want one. Trust me, because I never wanted her to be the only child. But I just wish that it would have been kind of closer together so they could have. Because now basically she's gonna kind of be like, oh, like the. I mean, she's going to be the older sister, but it's it's like 15, 16, 17 year gap. So, I don't know. You was 36? And you delivered your son. I had my baby at 39. I, I mean, I get it. I'm not, I'm not knocking the age, but as you get older, it is harder to like, you, you're high risk. It's hard carrying a baby, just period. Then with all of the stresses that we, we, we have and just everything and then like I think I'm kind of apprehensive about it because I, I am older and she's older and I'm just starting all over again and it's kind of like I'm gonna be like I'm trying to focus on my business so I don't know I really don't know y'all I do want one I'm, I know he, he would love to have one but he doesn't pressure me at all so I, I'm not sure I have three girls one in 87 93 and 01 oh wow yeah i mean more people were having kids later and later so i'm pretty healthy and everything so i'm pretty sure i'll be fine but it's just my pregnancy was perfect my labor wasn't but my pregnancy was perfect i didn't have morning i just was sleepy and i ate 10 times more than what i eat now and i'm already greedy but I'm scared that I'm going to have morning sickness this next time because, you know, every pregnancy is different. So, it's a lot of things that I've taken into consideration that why I may want to or why I don't want to. But I just did not want to be, like I said, my cutoff was 30. I'm way past my cutoff. Because, you know, women, and that's what, you know, men don't understand that because we have a certain time frame to have kids. Men can have kids up to a very late age and see my fiance is a significant amount of years younger than me he's nine years younger than me so i don't know um yeah i i'm not I'm, i don't know i want another one like i said but i don't know yeah thank god you didn't have any issues y'all yeah? one of my closest friends first cousin and her first baby at 57 oh my goodness do what your heart tells you i mean i really truly do want another one jay i really do but I, i'm just dreading the starting over phase because i'm you know at 18 a lot of parents be like oh you 18 you gotta go no i'm not kicking my daughter out she is gonna stay right here and that's the mistake that a lot of parents make. They they feel like a 18 year old is not ready to be out on their own in the real world. They don't know a lot of things about society. And I like, try to teach my daughter and be very um open with her about how things are and stuff like that. So I will not kick her out, but she is not gonna stay in my house if she's not in school or working or both. You cannot stay here for free, honey. You gotta pay what you wet. So um. And I don't want her to be the only child because, you know, when it is my time to go, hopefully no time soon. People say they're going to be there for you and stuff like that. But no one understands your pain more than a sibling to go through that type of stuff with. So she has siblings on her father's side, but they're not from me. And it's different growing up with siblings in your household. I have a sister and a brother. I'm the baby. My sister is the oldest. I have a brother. He's the middle child. We had the same mother and father they were married he passed away we all experienced the same thing and was able to cope and, and get through it together and it's different growing up in the household with your siblings as opposed to you having siblings from another parent i mean you can still be just as close i'm not saying that but the relationship and the bond when you live in that same household and i'm only basing this off of my experience it is just different so I do I do want another one. So I most likely will be having another one. But I told him it got to be before I'm 40 or I'm going to throw the towel in, chief. 
and that's it uh that part <laughs> my sons are 22 and 19 and they still home yep that's right jay listen that i i i commend you for that because a lot of people be like, uh uh-uh, you gotta no Mm-mm. your daughter is 14 okay so you you have three that's why i was going to go again Mm-hmm. yep see i like this is what i'm saying about y'all and you know y'all being like I feel like y'all are connected. We connected because we can talk about the bling stuff. We could talk about personal life things, and like I, I share a lot. You know, most people probably won't do that on their lives, but you know, I don't really have have anything to hide. It is what it is. Like you can um say whatever you want about me, but you can't say I'm not down to earth. And I feel like that that you know that's what make people gravitate um you know to me as well. But I do, I really enjoy, you know, being up here and talking to y'all. A lot of y'all that come up here all the time, I feel like, you know, we know each other. We're friends and stuff like that. So, that's why I talk to y'all like this. So, it's very important that um I keep that, you know, with, it, with y'all. So, I would miss them if they went. I love having them around. Yeah, I'm very, like, even when I first moved out um from with my um my mother you know i wanted my independence and stuff like that <clears throat> and i was like oh man me and my mom i'm very close to my mom she's like my best friend that's how me and my daughter are you know i talk to her about the things that she she i don't want her to learn on her own even sex and stuff like that you know people feel like school's supposed to teach my daughter that no you the first teacher you teach your, your kids stuff that you um you know you can be transparent and open with them like as opposed to a school teaching you know you're the first teacher so i talked to my daughter about that stuff and i tell her you know how to put a condom on all of that type of stuff i'm like now listen i don't want you to be doing that she's like mommy i am not sexually active i'm like good keep it that way because boys ain't going nowhere get your education let them stay out the way they gonna tell you all of the sweet nothings that you won't never think that you gonna hear ever again but trust me they're not going anywhere and i said um i'm just preparing her for the real i'm not encouraging this because i'm glad that she is not doing anything and i hope she stays that way for a long time because you know as a teenager that stuff is overrated having sex at an early, that's overrated and you be you be proud if you save your virginity losing your virginity to someone that's well worth it so i'll tell her you know carry condoms just in case i said don't do it but i'm just saying if you do be protected because it's a lot of stds out here and pregnancy rates for teenagers are very high don't think that you know 16 and pregnant is a a a good thing to no, because that's not gonna be happening over here and i said because a, a lot of young boys they will be like oh i don't have a condom i forgot it you have your own if you're gonna go through with it have your own and then you don't know if they poking holes and stuff no so i just like to try to teach her certain things you know we were all teenagers at one point we know what it's like what it's about what they try see they think we don't know about that stuff because we're older but we done did all that stuff just like our parents did they done been through that stuff and you got to educate your kids and stuff like that so you know i just try to you know let her know certain things like that so my mom is my best friend and my mom did that a little well that is so sweet i love to hear that i hate when i hear people don't have a good relationship with their mom especially their mom you know especially a mother daughter like now my daughter's to the point she's wearing my bag my cloak i'm like okay i don't have a problem with you wearing my stuff but can you wash it and give it back she ends up keeping it so <laughs> so i love when people are very close to their mom especially a mother daughter I'm the same way with my kids. They know they can come to me about anything. Yeah, it's very important. Amen. That's right. She told me and my brothers everything. God bless you all of these and moms. Yep, it is important. You can't expect school to teach your kids every single thing. And some people may be against that. Like, oh, I don't talk to my kid about it. Well, that's probably why your kid is in the situation that they may be in. Talk to your kids. Don't be a shy. I still hug and kiss my daughter and tell her I love her every day. Some kids, you'll be surprised. Some kids don't get that. 
their parents don't tell them that they love them. Oh, that's too much. It's too clingy. It's too this. But you tell a man that you love them. <clears throat> so the same way you can express your love to a man, you can express your love to your child. You carry your child. You got a bond with that child. An automatic bond. Because they come from you. So, you know, I tell my daughter every day. And she tell me too. Oh, that's nice, Peter. I love that. Yeah, my mother, when I still was living home, we used to sit up all night, like on Friday nights or Saturday nights. We would look forward to, like, movie night, sitting up eating snacks and stuff. So, that's where I came from today. We, we stay hours, and her and my daughter are close, too. My, my, my daughter is the first grandchild. So, you know, she's spoiled, because when I had my daughter, I was still living home. I was working and going to school and stuff, so then I finally moved out, I think, when my daughter turned three. Well, no, I moved out with her father. We were still engaged and together and stuff like that. And then we didn't work out, and then I moved out on my own. And, um, you know, it was so different because I'm like, oh, I miss my mother. But I wanted my own independence and privacy with my baby and stuff like that. So I was just like, I was over there every day still, but paying rent somewhere else. <laughs> so, yeah. But she comes over here too and we watch movies and stuff and my daughter just loved my mother so much. They just like best friends. She's very close to my grandmother too. So we always kept like a tight uh family, tight knit family or whatever. But uh my husband and our moms are best friends before me and him. Nice. That is very sweet. Yep. But do y'all have any more questions? I know I went off and to went into a totally different um, topic. And I'm kind of like tired of working with um, the bling stuff tonight. So I want my eyes to kind of rest a little bit. But um, if y'all don't have any more questions, then I'm going to probably take it down for the night. But... I really did enjoy um, being on this live with y'all tonight. A lot of uh, positive energy, conversation, questions, and stuff like that. Encouragement. So I really do appreciate y'all. <clears throat> like I said, if you are not following me, please hit the plus button. Also, follow me over on Instagram, Symphony's Treasures. I'm also on Pinterest symphony's treasures i'm on youtube under symphony's treasures so give me a follow there subscribe there uh where else and um i have a business facebook page as well symphony's treasures and visit my website symphony's treasures.com if you um are interested in purchasing everything um sign up for my email list i gotta be better with my email marketing stuff y'all because um it's just a lot to manage right now um so but you can sign up and you'll receive 10 percent off of your purchase <clears throat> and that's that's pretty much um all that i have for tonight y'all um thank you linus as always for being my moderator and doing such an excellent job at that <laughs> oh my goodness you so funny <clears throat> But yeah, so I think I'm going to just call it a night. I'll be back on sometime tomorrow. If you're following me, I think you will get an alert. If you're like on TikTok, you'll get an alert when I'm up here. Um, So thank you, Nakia, for the likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if y'all could think of some questions or anything that y'all have, y'all could like let me know in the, uh, the next one if y'all want to see me do certain things or you know whatever i don't mind doing that as long as i can um i can do it if i can't do it or i don't know how to do it or whatever then i'm gonna let y'all know i don't know how to do that <laughs> thank you peter for the likes and anybody who is aspiring to start their business or thinking about stopping their business i'm just gonna encourage you to start start it <clears throat> and if you already are there keep going I understand what it's like to not get likes, not get sales. I don't get sales all the time, y'all. Like I said, during this pandemic is when my business really picked up. 
before it takes um from year three to five years for your business to really get noticed and acknowledged and you to really start making sales and stuff like that <clears throat> i am a witness to this from my own experience uh, I I was just out there posting, posting, posting. Doing. I wasn't getting likes. I wasn't. I wasn't getting noticed. Nothing. So, do not be discouraged. Stay the course. Keep on um, promoting yourself, even if no one is watching. Eventually, someone someone will see you. Someone will notice you. Someone will like you. Someone will purchase you from you. So just keep that in mind. And um, honestly you know stay motivated because um it's gonna happen it's gonna happen as long as you are still dedicated and consistent <clears throat> it will happen people ask me all the time and these are people that i know personally um i made a post about thanking y'all for you know me getting helping getting me to fifty thousand um followers here and so he asked me how you get fifty thousand followers i'm like consistency communicating showing up like all of that that is important very important because i mean that's the only thing i can think think of that it was me posting videos and and and, and when i reached a thousand being able to go live and showing up when i first was able to go live i was so scared i'm like what am i going to talk about i didn't know what to work on i didn't know and sometimes i still don't i'm just like well i got orders let me just you know i have a, a following here where i have regular you know supporters well, you know, they make me feel comfortable. They ask questions. We can talk, transparent, you know, all of that. So just, just do it, you know, keep going. <clears throat> and um, it's very important. Like, so don't, don't let anyone talk you out. And don't you be the one to talk yourself out of stuff. Like, just try it. There's no failure unless you don't try. That's, the, that's failure. When you don't try, that's what you're failing at. You got to, you know, like what did I say earlier? Don't bet on blue, bet on you. That's right. That's what I'm about. That's going to be my little motto too. Just like happy shopping. It's going to be don't don't bet on blue, always bet on you. Yep, something of that sort. So just always, you know, take that leap of faith and have it in yourself before, you know, you do it for anybody else. Because you are important. So if you have a talent... Do you want to start or whatever? And don't think that, oh, everybody is doing it. <clears throat> so what? Everybody is breathing too. Are you going to stop breathing because everybody else is doing it? No. So look at it that way. I hope, you know, y'all taking some um meaning from what I'm saying, making some sense of it. I don't come up here to preach or anything like that. <laughs> but sometimes it sounds like I am. But I mean it. I really do. I, I like to kind of encourage and help motivate people because I didn't have that. So I had to find that in myself. And once you believe in yourself, other people will as well. It's going to exude from you. So it's just very important. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Jocelyn. I hope uh, Josie Lagata. I hope I said your name right. Michelle, thank you for joining. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. So, all right. I think I'm going to call it a night, y'all. I'll be back on. Well, I might as well stay later on today because it's 345. But um, thank you for the likes. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If you're not following me, please follow me here. Follow me on Instagram at Symphony Treasures. I'm also on um, YouTube, Symphony Treasures. Check out my website, SymphonyTreasures.com. Sign up to join my email list. And you'll receive 10% off. I hope everyone has a great night's rest. Or enjoy whatever you're doing. Um, <clears throat> tonight or whatever time it is in your um, area. Be safe. Wear your mask. Pray. And you know. You know say something nice to somebody. You never know what people are going through. And um, you know. It's going to come back to you. It's good karma and bad karma. Always remember that. So. Thank you, Jay, for tuning in. Thank you so much. Y'all have been a pleasure tonight. And I just want to say I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Have a good night. Sending y'all some love. All right. Good night, y'all.